Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Fear, Judy, Flippy Mushroom. What's cooking? Channel Discord. The music on this. All right, guys. Have you had, uh, had your fill of uh, Easter food? Been a while, I'm okay. You know, Hemisphere, there are also other platforms than just Twitch. And if you would have followed me or been in my Discord, you know, you might actually have learned that I streamed on Kick only for a while. Now we're multi streaming. I added YouTube also today. So we have uh, Twitch, YouTube, Kick, and Twitter. And why do I hear myself? Okay, something is not muted. Where is the where is that page that it's not muted? The the YouTube. Don't think you ate any Easter food? Why not? Just what you needed, one more platform? Yes. Hi, Bestia. Hey, Magigo. How much is the fish? I don't know. I should go and fucking go check. I caught none. Hey, thingy. The, the fishing trip was a bust. But hey, at least I got uh, a bit tanned on half of me. I, I caught a good night sleep last night when i got back Join my Discord also. If anyone wants to bother bother me. And uh let's see what we can do with this fucking uh dragon and his, his skills. I did some tests this morning. A few different things here like this different skills and shit flip is nice must be right hello Nim hi DJ you're not at work no, today is uh, bank holiday. Yeah, yeah, wait, it's Easter for you guys. Yeah. Vacation. Hey, Mano. Okay. 
we're doing some uh, thinking about how the skills will go, right? This is this is not gonna work because we need to start with a basic one. You got no fish whatsoever. Yeah, nah. I think it was also a scam on the on the pond. They were supposed to repopulate. They just pretended they did that. Fuckers. Fuckers, yes. Romanians. As well, you still have good internet. Yeah, thank God for that, right? And cheap apartments. Bigger area here. Go on the chest. A bit like big scales. Not sure about this though. Maybe I should just uh, from here going straight to the arm. This. Well, at least the sun is shining today. Something. It was super. Hot, bro, at fishing. Uh, like 30 degrees. I baked. The sad part is that I got baked on half of myself, right? Like, my left hand, it's, it's cooked. All right, one, not really. 30 degrees in April? What the fuck is going on there? So this ones will have like a gradient, right? Gradient skills. Let's see. Hey Frick, sir. What's this? What do you mean what's this? Dragon.
We're doing a, a scaly creature challenge on my Discord. Nice. Are you gonna join DJ? No. You don't wanna do skills? Uh, yeah, I don't wanna do skills. I'm not even that good to do creatures. But you can do this for fun, can you? Not? No. Houdini the skills. Yeah, absolutely. You want to start learning Houdini for skills. Clearly. In a few years, Nim, you can just ask AI to do that, huh? Yeah. Why the fuck I did not have symmetry? How did I... When did... Uh... Are you fucking kidding me? Where did you got that way white from? Delete <sighs> all this because we don't need it now. This test. Yeah, that looks better. Yeah, I'm doing some retopo. Doing your topo? Mm-hmm. Did you reply to someone or and I missed it? Reply? Like I didn't ask anything. Mm. Well, I told you anyway. Like random random reply, huh? Yeah. If you were wondering, but I guess you weren't, so. What are you doing, Ritopo? Robot. We still have Ritopo to do on that one? Oh, yeah. Upper body. And I'm actually going to redesign some parts of the gun. It is just it is just like smaller parts. It's no big pieces anymore. The big pieces are done. No, well, make a creature seagull for the challenge and do just that. I don't know Houdini, and I have no intention to learn Houdini for this stuff. Why does everything always have to be automated and procedurally? What's wrong with doing it manually and doing it right, you know? It's... I also doubt that the result is going to be as good as Seagull thinks.
last month had like a conversation uh with an, with my art director was asking me what I like doing. And I said, like, I like doing, uh, like modeling, texturing and, and like designing presentations said that I should, uh, start learning other things because AI is going to take over. I was like, oh. yeah, yeah. I can love this kind of people. Yeah. We all know what's going to be in the future, you know? Wonder why they don't just go and fucking uh, give up. I like, grow grow potatoes or something. The part is not gonna be. Uh, And I know yeah. I'm already, and I'm already not like really respected there because I actually model my stuff from scratch, which is not really efficient in their eyes, but still, you know. AI is gonna change the way we do things, but making us obsolete completely, that's not. I would love to work for like a small indie company, you know. Oh, it would be so nice. I have to deal with fucking bullshit. I mean, I will have to deal with bullshit, but not this kind of bullshit. Why don't you go and apply to War Dogs? Who? War Dogs, the guys who are making weapons. The only in the company. Yeah. Well, he's not working there anymore. Oh. Ole? Yeah, he Ole. left. Isn't he a co-owner of the goddamn fucking company? I mean, he probably is, but he's not, like, working there anymore. He left. He wants to do, do his own things. Thing though with Wardog, it's also outsourcing though. So, what do you mean? It's their own, their own studio. Well, it is their own studio, but they work for other studios. And it's outsourcing. Do you think, as a pro artist, you're ever gonna do anything else but outsourcing nowadays? Do you think big studios still hire uh, pro artists? I don't know. You they me? don't. Not really, because everything is outsourced now. Yeah, so that's where streaming. where props are like the only people that they hire as prop artists in the big studios are the people who actually check if the also studios did it right or not that's pretty much how it is mm -hmm. hey peter by the way guys can you go to my tw uh, twitter and see if you can actually chat in there let me see. I haven't tested it. It fucked it up again or not. Mm. Okay, it's working. Yeah, I'd be okay with relocating, Juni. I'd be more than happy, honestly. But I haven't been really lucky so far. Well, from what I know, War Dogs only work... Like, they will let you work remote for a month or two, and if they take you in, you're going to have to actually move uh, to Ireland. Or Scotland. No, Scotland. They're in Scotland, right? They're in Edinburgh.
And they seem to have like a, a very uh, healthy mentality about how to work there, right? Jade was saying that they give the people uh, the option to choose when they come to work, right? You can come at 8 a.m. or you can come up to uh, midday, 12. You just need to work your eight hours, right? Or if you want, you can have a four week uh, program, right? With 10 hours a day, four days a week. Oh, that's so I nice. think I think it's really, really fucking nice, right? I mean, you tend to w do more than eight hours anyway, so. I, I know that they're not, uh, they're not paying tremendously good or whatever, right? but it seems to be a pretty, uh, pretty good uh, studio to work for. And you're into hard surface and stuff, did you? I mean, I, I thought that would be a, one of your first op options, you know. Mm. I actually see if they're actually looking for people. I'm pretty sure they always do. Uh, I'm looking for a vehicle artist and weapon artist. But I do appreciate that they actually put the the salary amount of. I mean, it, it, sh a year. it should be illegal, bro, at this yeah. point, to not put whatever salary. 36k pounds. How much is that to euros? Let me see. Uh, around 34. It's definitely more than what I'm earning now, though. <laughs> I'll apply. In my opinion, you should try it. Like, yeah. There's... I'm back on Twitch. Apparently. But I'm back on all platforms. They don't allow remote at all, so you have to relocate immediately. Oh, 
from what Jade was saying on uh, on Twitter, they allow you for a month or two, right? Okay. And if they actually decide to take you on, yes, you need to to go there. I mean, I wouldn't mind relocating. Well, Edinburgh, it's a really fucking beautiful city. Yeah, that it is. It's quite expensive though, but still nice. <laughs> Well, it would be nice to work on something that I actually enjoy for a change. <laughs> yes, it would. What is Juni doing these days? Is he working? Uh, Are you working? I know, ask him. I have no clue what Juni is doing these days. What I know is he's gonna stream today, working on this challenge. Oh, Other is he? That, You're alive? Um, that doesn't sound very uh, optimistic, though. Because that's what I say these days, I'm alive. Hey, my mom. What's cooking? Is Jenny gonna stream? Yes, that's what they promised him, Ken, nice. and um. Jay starting the challenge today and they're gonna stream all of them. Sick. Now you cannot take it back, Judy. Come on, it works. Stream for us. Do it. That's crazy. I do love that. Love what? Tried watching uh, Oppenheimer, but I can, it's not a movie that you can put on just in the background. There's just too much stuff happening. Exactly the challenge. 
we'll make a scaly creature. Well, they have AI in almost every digital software. They have AI in Photoshop now, you know. So, wouldn't be surprised they would do it in uh, ZBrush too. First, need to. Learn how to record the direction any fucking way. <laughs> it is right now. Doesn't seem like something that's gonna happen too soon. Any constraints? Uh, we decided to like, this is basically Jay's challenge. Uh, to be like three weeks for the high poly. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where different types of skills will go. Peter. That's what I'm painting this mask as a as a guide, right? To figure out what kind of skills I'm gonna have and where. Back on Twitch, I'm back on all platforms, multi-streaming. Where is Tukon? I haven't heard her from uh, in a while. Probably on the Easter vacation. Well, we went back to Vito or something.
This really great friend, Memoir. He's like really fantastic. Go check him out. Go subscribe to him. Yeah, let's go. KKKKKK <laughs> K, 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 K is this then? Why do you guys keep changing names? How am I supposed to know who the hell you are? Yeah, maybe you don't need to find out who they are. I mean, when you're talking like you know me, I would like to know who I'm talking with. I should start, start changing my name too. <laughs> How's George? George moved to Abu Dhabi. Not that great. He's struggling for now to figure out Is he still doing 3D though? Right now? Not really, no. no. God damn it, George. But at least you can tell me which was uh, your previous nickname, so I have an idea of what I'm talking with. Damn, people be apologizing for their nickname? Damn. 
Eh, Cristi. Well, if you like being here, maybe you should talk more. Nim doesn't bite, though. Well, not in, in maybe in the beginning, but. Wow. <laughs> Am I done? Wow, Anju, are you trying to make me ban you or something? Change his name to Banju. <laughs> Mm, let's presume we use this. This for what we're doing. No, probably gonna need more, more colors. I'm gonna eat something and I'll be back. Enjoy your food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
You are already here. Okay. Reload. Um. Why is oh ZBrush is not importing my phone? Why the fuck are you flipped? The fuck? Hey, Christy fucked up something. But import OBJ. That's fucking stupid. I need to export. I'm gonna fuck up my export settings, won't I? What's the export settings? Those are the only options here. Is this gonna work? No, no, not the FBX. I'm exporting OBJ because the FBX is not exporting my, or it's not importing in top of my vertex car. So I'm exporting OBJ, but a fucking exporter. Reload. Okay, that was not. Click Y.
internet creature with soft skin and lots of holes. Would I use Marvel Designer for that? It depends. You could use it to generate some fucking holes. Not mostly, it's still gonna be sculpted. Okay, why the fuck is this not? Delete. On the FBX, motherfucker. Ah. I need to talk with Christy about this shit. You're fucking kidding me. The fuck are the correct? Is this one? Why the fuck did the normals are not? Hmm. Make my life complicated for no fucking reason. Finally. We actually need to go. Separate. This. I'm gonna fill the gaps afterwards.
The thing is, we're gonna make these diamonds. We should have one in the center. So when this it builds up a diamond, I need at least two. And then there's the talk about the size of the fucking skills. We're gonna be yeah. I'm gonna have to do a lot of testing for this shit to actually work. We're gonna do like a quick fucking test here. See, I had like the I had that build right. Where's the this is not the correct build, is it, for my top of that? Not the better that Christy have worked on hiding right the the things that are behind for the dog poly. But apparently I don't have the right build. This is my kind of problem. But then the scales are going to become very, very big or elongated, which doesn't really make sense because in reality, this will probably split. Right, you would have, let's say, this will be a scale, right? Like this. And then you're going to have like different scale here. A different scale here but it's gonna appear one in the middle right? and so on and so forth to make you know a shape like this it's kind of like the thing that i don't know how to make it work And all the changes in direction, they are also problematic. Hey, VFX is better. Yes, at stretching points, add more connections. Yeah, but how do we do that to actually make our life easy? And that's the question. Sounds like um, an easy thing to do. I really don't think it is. Also, I need to, as I said, I need to take into account how this also go. I 
I you know. What are we gonna try to tackle here? Making the the proper orientation for the tails. Why the fuck are you not? Is the snap like very? What up, my snap? It'll be harder to rig the creature. Uh, this is not for the uh, retopo. This is just a mesh to generate the the scales, which I'm gonna use for nano mesh in ZBrush. It's definitely not gonna be the uh, topology for animation. I'm gonna have proper loops for that. Or either we go, you know, movie like, right, with a lot of topology and like. Um, a dummy mesh that's going to be hidden but has correct uh, topology for animation right to driven a skin wrap or we're gonna actually uh, you know take care it about it when we're doing the low poly i'm gonna make separate islands of meshes no i want to use nano mesh right so i painted out different types of uh, of skills that i'm gonna use right some of them Obviously, this will also have like a lot of variation and whatnot. I kind of know what type of flow I want. The problem is that uh, making the mesh for the nano mesh, right, <laughs> with a few issues. In terms of flow and whatnot. <clears throat> the, the other problem is the size of this polygon. Like right now they're too long and I'm afraid that if I'm actually going to split them like this, they're going to be too small. Alright, for what I want to have here. It's not for scouting, Enil. Nano mesh. Read my lips. Nano mesh, Enil. Nano mesh, Enil. It's all about the even distribution of the squares when you're doing nano mesh. Not the right question, he Neil. The question should be, what's bad?
What's good? Nothing. What's bad? Everything. Luigi being such a, uh, an island of positivity nowadays. I know, right? Are you Romanian <laughs> or something? Well, it could be. Maybe have some ancestors that um, fled to Romania. Maybe. Never know. <laughs> like I say, one positive thing, the sun is shining, so that's something. But knowing Belgium, I wouldn't be surprised if it starts exactly, raining which, in an hour. Which, which happens once every four to five years. <laughs> Being sunny in Belgium. It appeared on my uh, memories on Facebook, right? Like I've been like six years or something. Well, when, should, I, when I've been to come Ghent. Here during summer. I've been to Ghent and it was like uh, sunny in April. Or it was, no, no in March. It was like two days ago. But you came, sunny in Belgium. He, he, he came to Belgium in literally one of the worst times to come to Belgium. But I've been in all times in Belgium, bro. I've been, You've been literally. Here in summer? I've been in summer. I've been in. I've been in July. I've been in August. I've been in December. I've been in January. I've been in March. I've been in April. I've been in May. Right. I, I've been all across the fucking world. But you should come here in in June or July. Then you will know what our sun is. It actually gets almost as hot in Spain. What about not combining the different color zones? Yes, that's going to be an option, right? But like, for example, here, the types of skills that I have, like, for example, the, the purple one, I will not combine it because I'm going to have a different density. Or the orange one, right? But the yellow red one, uh, they're the same type of skills. And that means they uh, they're basically you know like skills on a fucking armor there's gonna be maybe not with pink this got them pink because we can see shit right there's gonna be like this right they're coming like this while the center one here is the yellow right or you know these two are gonna be the yellow ones Right, and the ones on the sides are going to be red, right? So they need to, uh, to have like the same number of, of skills. They need to be continuous. Now the rest, yes, we're going to do transition between them by manually probably forcing, you know, some of the skills in this area to kind of like combine with the, with the bigger ones. But for the big ones, I kind of need them to be, uh, you know, very uniform. Nano mesh in you. Don't tell anyone about nano mesh. Don't ask me why the fuck I'm not you know, doing weird stuff. It's probably gonna what we're gonna have on this kind of stuff where they spread out literally something like this where it spreads out and I will delete those polygons so we can have a combination of two in that corner there. Mm. Fucking pain in the ass. 
Yes. Ask me. Lag DJ here. Why am I a pain in the ass? What did I do? Is that even a question? It is. Well, DJ, there's a lot of stuff. Let's start with the beginning. The beginning. Okay. Now, continue. And you know what? I think deep down you miss me, but you 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 actually you don't want to admit it. I think that's the problem. Yes. Yes. I know. But it's okay. It's mutual. I miss you too. Oh. <laughs> now when I come to Romania, let's go fishing together, huh? Oh, you really want to go fishing with me? Yes. Why? I don't know, because I want to throw you in the water or something. <laughs> oh, that kind of a dick. <laughs> hey, screaming. If I don't do it, you're going to do it. Why? I would do that thing. I don't know, because you're you. a dick. <laughs> like because I'm a dick. <laughs> yes. Wow. I'm going all the way today. Make me feel welcome, huh? Mm -hmm. Fuck is he kneel up to these days? I haven't seen you stream in a long time. He's not streaming. He's constantly, you know, I'm working on uh, on his work, work, you know. Imagine, you know, Christmas passed. We have still haven't seen that fucking character done. But no one, no one. You know, actually pays attention, right? <sighs> Freelance, yes, yes. Weren't you supposed to finish it last year? You know, I swear to God it's gonna be done till the end of the year. Now we're waiting <laughs> for the next Christmas. But Enil is freelancing. Kind of freelancing. We are all grown up, Nim. We don't have time anymore to come together, sing Kumbaya, do stream together. Yes. That all was grown up. About being grown up. I knew I'm missing something. Does that mean I'm still a fucking moron and a kid? Yeah. Thank you. It's just you and me that's left. Dava sometimes too. But they, the rest all grew up, got married, bought a house, got kids. Called Raw Men Food Fighting Arena. What kind of a name is that? Sport. Q 
care about this right now. No, speaking of fishing, I've never gone oh, fishing, shit. ever. Never been fishing? Never. I crashed Max. Fuck this new fucking interface. Why did you make it crash? What did you do? Because instead of uh, changing the distance for the chamfer, I changed the number of uh, oh. loops. Oh, I just yeah. click and scroll on and move the mouse. Nice. Yeah, no, it's done. I'll just kill it. Elite. Yeah, that was. Or it kills my stream or Hey, who's having fun? Coin. Who's having fun on Kofi? Two factor authenticator. Mempo. Thank you, Mempo. I don't think I know who Mempo is, but... Oh. I see you, mate. Thanks for the donation. They launched a new rogue phone, and... Bro, this needs to burn, right? To, like get fucking completely wrecked before I'll even consider changing phones. God, Vita. Still alive? No, it's a, an Asus Rogue phone. They exist in. But I'm not gonna change it before it's completely destroyed, man. I, I don't see the point of changing phones. Unless they are not working anymore. I've been uh, the previous stream and today I've been streaming on all platforms existing. We're on Twitch, on Kick, on YouTube and Twitter. This fucking stretch here is gonna look fucking great, isn't it? Also, I it's gonna be fun to see how 
ZBrush is going to consider the orientation of these polygons. And why the fuck did it make a, an end gun there? The multi stream costly on the computer hardware? No, because it's, uh, it's making a single compression, right? The problem is uh, it's costly on uh, the bandwidth. I'm streaming to four different servers. But thank you, Romania, for good internet. You know what I mean? You're welcome. Is Kik giving me a better share of the subs or Twitch? Uh, Kik is giving you all the money. Like literally 100% except the 50 cents, $1, whatever, the transaction fee. Well, you know, after uh, taxes and whatnot, all the things that Twitch is taking from, you actually get like 30%. six dollars or something on kick i i honestly don't know how much it is i, I wish i could say but i i really don't and cheap yes you still can't understand this cheap and fast yes because they uh, they had built the infrastructure with the growth of the internet rather than you know having to invest a lot of money that made it very very Cheap. Hey, Paul Gun. Some weird shit going on here. Okay. Let's let's say this is it for the test. the test I wanted. That one. So can we just project the color? Make our life easier. Can I even make polygroups from this color and it will actually do it right? Groups. 
from Polypaint. Almost, it, it almost. Oh no, it actually did. Almost. the group maybe like that no this should be let's see for the group confused here she was like two or three All this should be another poly group. It doesn't matter that much for the test. The test. For the test is the test. Okay, so we have some, like I made here, some test kills. This is one like a, a small one. It's like a, a long one. And I fucking didn't save them. Great. Now we're gonna just test with this two. Right? Make a brush. Create insert. No. And I'll create insert mesh append. Okay. And we're gonna make this nano mesh brush. Ah, oh, that's what we forgot to do. Align edge. This will be debatable if it's gonna actually do what needs to be done. Uh, Poly group. Yeah. We're gonna have to to reorient this, right? Because this is not the correct orientation. This is here, but this is completely fucked. And I fucking love when you put fill and it just changes the rotation. in this stretchy stuff.
Yeah, the, the flow is going to be way more of a problem. What do I think about the movie workflow for making high poly for creatures? Which one? Hey, Racy. You decided to go on kick now that I'm on Twitch and YouTube and Twitter. Hello, Billy. we need to do a test with more than two colors you're at work i thought you're in vacation racy got back from vacation went to work on monday during easter like the base is working hmm? who is working racy how do you he think he makes all those billions? Working, bro. Good investments. Yeah, but do you you don't invest without you know putting the work to actually figure out where to invest. You know what I mean? <laughs> you think they project alphas and sculpt on top? Yeah, that's not what I'm gonna do. I'm doing skills. Mm -hmm. so you see what I was saying about the the scale of things? That's like a movie, the scale of things. They're way too small. I need yeah, that's the plot to... twist. I need that those ones to be actually fucking big. So I need to figure out exactly the size of the polygons that I'm gonna have. You're a low paid mod, but start your job on time. Yes, Racy. I mean, uh, yes. Now that you're, you came out and tell, told everyone that I'm not paying you enough, I think I'm going to cut your salary even lower. It's unacceptable. So it's Ouch. Such a bad, <laughs> so, you know, advert. What, what's it called? I can find my English word. You see, you upset me so so much. It is Romanian. I will understand. It's bad marketing, you know, coming uh, coming and telling that I don't pay enough. I'm gonna pull all these people to join me and work for free. on the boat and catching your breakfast yeah i know must be such a sad world just staying on your boat you know in the fucking seaside sunny you know that shit and not getting enough money for your mod job i 
mean it's like how would you afford your your moe bottle those expensive hookers <laughs> thank you Riz. we're working on it we're trying to figure out shit Race is back. No, race is on vacation. Mm. You know, it's making fun because it would work because it's the mod on kick. Well, I haven't seen race in a very long time. Well, none of his usual suspects were streaming. I mean, I was still streaming from time yes, to time. But you're not in, not that interesting, DJ. Or also fucking streaming at crazy fucking hours. That is true, though. <laughs> Fucking hell. I mean, that's the only amount of time that I have during the day. For streaming, you know, 3 a.m. my time and shit. Oh, no, it's not 3 a.m. your time. There's only like one hour of time difference between Belgium and Romania. Yeah, so you're streaming at 2 a.m. No, I stream at, that would be 11 at your time then. Mm -hmm. I'll actually check my notifications and send you some uh, screenshots next time. Ah, oh, wait, there's extra geo here. Ripopo so fun. Isn't it? Yeah. Well, to be honest, I'd rather do this than doing the stuff that I'm doing at my job, though. <laughs> that says a lot. Yeah, I need, I need bigger fucking polygons. This is gonna be a pain in the ass to even sort out this. Jesus. I need to delete this so I can actually reorient that mesh by itself. Delete it. But that's the thing. Like, this is kind of like what triggers me. If I have this flow for the, right, the skills are going to go like this. But I have this flow that's going to go in that direction, right? Somewhere here in the middle, I need to have like skills that go in both directions, which makes no sense. So how do the fucking animals actually do it? They don't. They don't, exactly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's weird as fuck, I. But I need to make some coffee. Gonna go further, so I'll be right back. I will be taking over. What do you guys need to know? I will tell you guys everything. Tell you some really bad jokes. No? Okay, fine. Fine by me. I'll just continue my retopo then. You ready? Ready for what? Some bad jokes? All right, all right. Uh, hang on. Wait, 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 hang on. Okay, IP, are you ready? I love oversized clocks, big time. <laughs> what kind of clothing do lawyers wear? Lawsuits. It used to be more jokes. What the fuck? Well, 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 that's it. That's chat GTP. No. What did you ask? Chat GPT. Chat uh, GTP for better ones. I think name gave up. Mm. Well, Nim, I gave, I did some really bad jokes, and you got two extra viewers. Because oh, of oh my God! So grateful for you, DJ. I know, right? We have a present on kick. Mm hmm. We have a present on kick. Have a present on kick. 
Yeah, hey, it's your boyfriend, fall. John. How are you, John? Where? What the fuck? You sent a message? Yeah. He cannot hear you, DJ. Well, DJ was saying hi, John. Hi, DJ. Hi, hi. You heard DJ was, had a girlfriend or it was April Fool? I think it's April Fool for a few years now. No, I said, uh, hey, look, Nim, it's your boyfriend. Tell him I said hi. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, you keep joking about John being my boyfriend. Wow, yes. He's just a friend, right? But I feel like you're just jealous, DJ. I am. I admit it. He seems to, to be a cool guy, yeah. Why don't you ask him to come to join us? <laughs> you want to come to join us, DJ? When? Anytime you want, bro. Okay. I will uh, see what I can arrange. Flights Let from Brussels to Bucharest are like five bucks if you buy them early enough. Fuck. Five bucks? Yeah, I paid for uh, Bucharest Brussels fifteen dollars for. Uh, let me let me actually both ways. check. Let me actually check. Hey, is alien. Oh God, oh God, it's our Lord and Savior, alien. Of course, we're gonna have something to complain about. <laughs> I'm still waiting for those Blender tutorials, Alien, that you promised me 10 years ago. How do you write Bucharest? <laughs> Even the bot knows, John, to not send that message. <laughs> so, in the case of this fucking color that I was talking about, because I cannot have like the, the wrong orientation here. Like either the scales are gonna be oriented like this, and then some of them are gonna slowly go like this. Right? So this orientation would be the correct one, though it doesn't make sense because theoretically this is gonna be the orientation here. Or I need to have a breakup in between the these two layers with a different color and a different type of scales that are not having orientation, right? Like, you know, most of the scales are kind of like this, right? Or, you know, diamond shape. And they have like a, a pinch in one direction. Right? So I could make like a transitional scale in the center where the pinch is just up right for changing directions hmm that brings another set of problems for the whole fucking transitions God damn it why did Ryanair leave fucking Brussels airport hmm is the the flights are actually quite expensive to uh, Bucharest? It's like the cheapest is like one hundred eighty. Fucker, drinking, drinking. Yeah, I will show you. I will show you. There should be like still some low costs that are flying to Brussels. Well, oh, there was Ryanair, but they left Brussels, so I would have to go to the other airport, which is along the French part. Uh, and 
I'm actually check how much it is from Charlotte Wong. Why the? I w- I went to with there to see uh, how much it costs. But yeah, they they don't fly for uh, to the main Brussels airport. They come to Charleroi. But that's you know what, half an hour train ride. No, it's not half an hour, Nim. <laughs> what do you mean, bro? It's not. It's like what forty kilos kilometers from Brussels. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't live in Brussels, then. I don't give a shit. <laughs> this me going to Brussels is already like... One okay, hour let, let me rephrase. Flights from Bucharest to Belgium are very fucking cheap. <laughs> it depends which airport. I don't care, right? It's Belgium. You can travel across Belgium in like, what, an hour and a half? In all directions? Four hours. Yeah, 40 hours. Well, it is very cheap though from Charleroi to yeah. Bucharest. It is. And Dirt cheap. I have to find a way to get to Charleroi then. Yeah. We, how could you get to Charleroi? It's... Probably. I don't know, need, I've never been to that airport. You need to change like 45, uh, you know, trains or some shit. Right? Uh, I will, but I would actually have to change. Wait, I have to go from from where I live to, to Ghent, from Ghent to Brussels, and then from Brussels to Charleroi. So I have to take three trains. Sag, uh-huh. very sag. Yeah, I live in a shit town. Yeah, I wanted to look at Wizard on their side to see exactly the price there, but... Uh... With there isn't on maintenance. Belgians like bikes? No, they don't. That's that's Dutch. It's Holland. Belgians don't like anything. Yeah, either. we don't like anything. We just like fries and we like to complain. No, that's that's the Persian part of it. No, because if I was Persian, I would probably never complain. Hmm. No, they're only in uh, Charleroi. They used to be in Belgium, though, when I was still in Spain. It was so easy to get to Spain and back. But apparently, after the COVID situation, they left Belgium. Uh, they left uh, Brussels airport. Shame. Okay, so it's clearly going to be a um, the limitation here. Ah, God damn it! Rush. Dalin, what the fuck have you been up to? Have you conquered the world already? Like, are you ready to take over the the world? The new world order? Yes, Racy. Starting June, we have uh, straight flights from Bucharest to, to New York, which are like 300, 400 bucks. So yeah, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be easy for us to get to America, or if Americans wants to come visit me, you can go visit Ken. 
Yeah, we can go visit Kenna. <laughs> it's gonna be cheap also. There's a new company uh, after Blue Air went bankrupt during the the pandemic. There's a new uh, company who picked up their their fleet and whatnot, and they uh, they're making new fucking uh, flights like for New York, picking up new routes, and they're very very cheap. Oh, no. I don't know if it's gonna last like that because five five day trip, no direct flight from June. Uh, Racy, uh, from June is direct flight to New York from Bequest. I don't know if they fly to any other uh, airport but New York, or Romania. I think June 5th is the first flight. Well, now maybe Ken is gonna come to Romania. Mm -hmm. Maybe Ken is gonna come to Romania. Maybe he will. From 7 June, uh, Pi Sky is the company. I'm curious if they uh, fly anywhere else. No, just New York. And this is these are the costs. Three hundred twenty per flight. Grand total of 700 bucks. Oh, when are we going? It's also weird because it's flying every two days. Like it's crazy, a lot of flights. Ice Sky, yes, it's a new company, as I said. Like they picked up most of the fleet from Blue Air. It was another low cost company like Ryanair and Wiz. They mean Zillion. Getting three D artists to come to me. They should all come to me. Like you know, coming to Jesus. Visit the holy shrine of Nimrod. Nimlot the 26th. 
Will the flight from uh, Los Angeles to France cost you four or five k? Yes, racy, but you fly like proper companies with first class and shit. We're talking here about low cost, you know, we mortals. Or you're flying your private, and that's the cost of the the gas, the fuel. The shrine is 3D printed. No, no, just uh, traditional stuff. Although I make also this polygons to easily fucking see where I need to place them. Is the scale color distribution pattern based or anything I just made up? I used some of the, you know, reptile references that I have for kind of like the direction of some of the scales. And the types of scales that we're gonna use. We're probably gonna need more than that and we're gonna have to do a lot of mesh up in between different types. Let's try another another iteration of this. Reload. So I know I know that my skill should be kinda what if I'm tr starting with diamond shape what if I go like this Wow, Rishi, lost it all. You're not rich anymore.
Zero plus. Zero plus. Look at that good investment made by Hanel. What did Hanel do? Gave Racy 20k and got 21, uh, 20,000. No, 200. Damn. He got 1k extra. Congrats, Hanel. In, in a matter of seconds. True. He did had like gazillions. Mm -hmm. 
Well, what the fuck are you up to these days? I haven't seen you in a long, 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 long time. Have a lot of patience, Miranda. I do. That's how you do proper things in 3D. What if you don't get the time? Then you don't do proper things in 3D. And we discuss that. Like if you have, you know, tight deadlines and whatnot, you're gonna cut corners. The tighter things are gonna be, the more corners you're gonna cut, and less quality. Okay, Vito. Thanks a lot for for dropping by, and thanks a lot for uh, for the donation. Man. Hope all all is good with you. Why am I doing these small quads? Because I'm trying to create uh, some uh, base so I can use nano mesh for my uh, my scales. I want to make my life easy when making scales, but currently, even this will require a very thorough thinking. figure out how it's gonna how it's gonna be how do I do the blends then just a line of 50 50 skills what do you mean what do you mean? I was already showing here, right? Like this is what what I did in in this test. I'm gonna use different types of of scales. You see, these ones in the center are bigger and whatnot, and these ones are like smaller and more flat. And the next row is gonna be even less flat and whatnot. And we're gonna have a nice gradient. And after that, we're going to have to come here and, you know, sculpt or maybe use a different polygroups to, to have different variation for each color or whatnot. Okay, Racy, have a good one. Uh, you know, enjoy your fishing. Sounds like, uh, like you're going to have a good time there. Thanks for dropping by. Bye, Racy. And where we're gonna have issues like here, right? Where they're not gonna match, I'm gonna manually doing stuff. Is this using a ray mesh? Nano mesh. Nano. Nano. But I'm trying to figure out exactly how to make them to also retain the scale. Because you know, just making quads and then converting it to diamonds make them too small and it's like a very problematic thing and I think we're gonna have like I, I think I'm gonna just make like separate meshes for for each color I can, you know, 
easily match them up. Do I have the same skills as VDMs? No. I don't think working with VDMs it's the way to go. The other thing is there are benefits on having this separate, but I could also use them as a single mesh. They might, you know, in case I need to actually sculpt the shit over. Manual it is then. That's what I'm trying to do. To figure out a good way to make it manual. Because I still want to do manual. You know, I'm a firm believer in doing everything by hand rather than generating it. You want good results, that's, in my opinion, that's the only way to make it. Zero measure versus topo gun. Topo gun. I don't do zero measure. Unless I need to sculpt quickly something. And I'm using Topogon here for actual precise stuff. So uh, Zero Measure will not give me that. And, uh, you know, making Retopo by hand in ZBrush is also not something that I would ever want to do. There's still places where I'm probably going to have to add more. Or is your zero measure that works? Yeah. Keep waiting for that. It's going to come eventually.
Oops, this is not good. That's not good. Start up the retopo. Mm -hmm. I have non uh, flat faces. Mm. Either I need to bevel or I need to triangulate it. No. Oh, presume you know what needs to be done. Another notification that must be kick that it's not showing, right? Usually is. Let's see in chat. Buttercup. Who followed? Hi. In Buttercup. What am I drawing? I'm not drawing. I'm sculpting. But right now we're trying to figure out stuff for for the dragon skills. I am Bubble. I need to ban you. Buttercup. Somebody likes the Powerpuff Girls, I think. Maybe. Maybe just just like you know, butter and cups. Where is Mojo Jojo? <laughs> You're not funny. Who's not funny? Everybody's funny, bro. <laughs> Can't even not do funny against our nature. Them is a stand-up comedian. 
my boyfriend on the mic. <laughs> wow. Wow. Are you assuming my sexuality? <laughs> I mean, DJ have been called in many ways. But my boyfriend, I think that's the first. I mean, have you seen me? I mean, I look pretty good, though. I'm in good shape. The question would only be who would be the boss, though. For what, Hellcat? For random Britopo? Yes. Maybe you can do stuff with your measure. Not what I'm trying to do here. No, it's already three in the afternoon. Oh. Anyways, are, am I going to print it? I'm a game character artist. I rarely do stuff that's going to be printed in any way. And in general, if I'm making something and someone wants to make it ready for printing, which usually meant Raul, he would have to do a lot of cleanup and shit to make it printable. I have no intention usually to do. Voila, that's better. Much better. What I'm doing here is not retop or anything. It's just meant to be my base for for skills, right? And for that I need the kind of precision that I only get by doing it like this. Just gonna go think here. Yeah, this is a, the orientation of this fuck. So the orientation of this will be like this, right? And this is going to end up like this. Which I need to t twist. So all this is wrong. 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 Because I need to twist it more. Right, so. It's going to be like this. Uh, 
so if the orientation is like this, it's going to continue like that. It's going to stretch a lot there. Right. That's the downside we were talking before. Request by color is an animation feature. Uh, well, you have by polygroups, which you can make them from uh, your color. Right. So it's it can be done, especially if you paint your colors harsher. Right. Like I painted with a lot of uh, fall off. But if you put no fall off and you have like clear colors, then you can do polygraphs with this and actually use it. Are the scales gonna be nano mesh? Yes. Yeah. That's what we are testing. Nano mesh scales. I have no idea, never use nano mesh. Maybe, maybe you should. It also needs to twist, right? So this will be here. No, cannot connect that. This needs to be connected like this. Yes, yes, I know. Everything gets in Blender already, does it? And it's doing it so fucking good, right? Oh man, I missed fucking Blender preachers. <laughs> Zal is one of them, though. I know. He said 10 years ago he was gonna start a new YouTube channel. And creating Blender tutorials, and he was gonna get rich. Still waiting though.
I'm not saying, bro, like, there are good things that can be done with Blender, but, like, stop pretending like that motherfucking software, it's, like, everything. That's my issue. New World Blender, Order. Blender can do a lot of things, but very few will. And very, like, we're not even talking about vanilla. Vanilla Blender can do... Shit. Hey, Janet. Hey, Dumal. Hey, Ludwig's Buttercup asked if I made it from scratch. Yes. How else? AI, yes. Definitely. Yes, I, I can't wait for that day. Yeah, let me take and get my fucking job because I'm already tired of this shit. Can it be sooner than later? Thank you. Well, according to my uh, art director, I need to, uh, as you say, it, secure myself for the future. Mm, secure yourself. You don't want, you know, to be catch with your pants down by AI. You forgot that filter. Yes, Twitch, the Blender is still banned on Twitch. I say Blender, you have to go to kick. Of course, I knew Zao was gonna. <laughs> Blender cultists are preferable to the AI bros. Of course, of course. Retopo for scale flow? Yes, Ludwigs. I'm trying to figure out, you know, how to make all this with the easier. Let's see. Pens down AI is here, yes. I've seen what AI can do in many aspects. And even if AI is gonna take you know everything that we do and it's gonna make be you know generated. There's always gonna be a niche, there's always gonna be people who want games made by humans. There's always gonna be ways to fucking continue your art. Yes, Ludwigs. That's where the freedom of speech is. Hey, Joe. And again, as I said, we are humans, we adapt, right? Whatever is gonna happen with your job or your art, you can go into a different direction. Have you 3D in your free time? Painting didn't disappear because fucking photography appeared, did it? People are still painting to this day. Mm. 
Can I ask why it's the lizard color for like rainbow? Because these are like different type of skills that we're gonna use, right? And I'm trying to figure out some meshes for for the positioning of of scales of different type of skills. Hey polygon, it's going, man. It's going places. Uh, a lot of mental exercises <laughs> nowadays trying to figure out this goddamn skill. Again, Robin, like whatever software you're gonna use, it's, it's less important. As long as you understand the principles of what you're fucking doing there, and you know, poly modeling, sure, you can do it. Max, Maya, ZBrush, fucking whatever. Right. And it's it anything else but Blender. Same as rigging, same as whatnot. It's not. But I, can, I bet I can poly model faster in Excel than in Blender. Can you? Yeah. This is also wrong. Yeah. The wrong connection here. Because this orientation is to connect with this. Like this. Everything it's um, end of the world, you know, tech wise. Everything, every new technology that is coming, it's we're done. Calm the fuck down. Well, what I find interesting is that the dude from Nvidia said that there's no point in learning coding anymore. Yeah, but some of the things will disappear but that doesn't mean that people who are doing those things will not adapt to you know do other stuff or make a living you know this is what bugs me why the fuck everybody is pretending like if ai is gonna be at to a point where you know it's gonna do everything that you do that you cannot make money other way or you cannot make art or you cannot make Games. Makes no sense to me. Fucking curve here, it's giving me fucking nightmares. like this right
And that was the problem. This was not connecting with this. Bugging me out. You all pretend like, you know, especially those of you who are working for ages in 3D, right? You all pretend like you're using the same tools now that you used 15 years ago or 20 years ago. What the hell are we talking about? I need to keep this one separate because the flow here that we are seeing, right? Like the skills are gonna be like this here. The orientation is gonna go down. Like this. And this one needs to come in this direction. Are you freelancing Zell? Or are you like permanent contract? Oh yeah, you're Norwegian. I always forget that. I always think you're Finnish for some reason. Unreal got really, really good. Unreal is good. That fucking shit evolved many, many ways. And I, I see it more often than not, you know, changing to VFX world. It's easy to set up stuff and, and that shit for everything
Yeah, Hellcat. Again, the AI has all the time in the world to fucking grow. It's not like it's gonna stop here. It's gonna learn and evolve and get better and better. And at some point, it might fucking do our jobs. But still, I don't see the problem. I really don't. Because if you're gonna think that 20 years from now you're gonna use the same tools and you're gonna do exactly the same shit that you're doing today, you're wrong. You're wrong, period. That's it. Wrong. Can I please get a job first? Are you actually looking for a job, Jenny? We don't talk about Autodesk. We, we cannot fucking talk about Autodesk. Autodesk is something that will never get fixed in many ways. I'm actually curious though, Junior, you, have you actually applied to companies or you're just not interested in looking for work? Not judging, just asking. It's not only ZBrush, see. Imagine, close physics, right? Marvelous. Doing that shit when I started working in 3D was insane. Right? Fucking texturing. Do you guys recall when you're placing fucking textures on top in Photoshop? <laughs> oh, I miss those days, man. What are we talking about? Now we have, you know, texture generators like, you know, uh, Substance Designer and whatnot. We have AI now to make textures. We have a fucking lot of things. To make our life easier when we're texturing. Yeah, the concept is still the same what? Because we have UVs for... A... Yes, but you would never use it, right? Like the, the advancement of it, it's tremendous. Think about UVs, right? UVs, 45 years, was crazy, right? It's a pain. Now you have reason, you know, three cuts... Press one button, done. Ah, uh, Rhythm. Love it. So and that applies to everything. And a lot of this advancement, like for example, Rhythm, uh, the whole algorithm, it's AI. It only gets better. Manual cutting and seeming in UVs. Yes, but now you actually have options, right, to select things by uh, for automatic cutting in Rhythm, right. where it can be by angle or by curvature or by a lot of different controls to not cut anything manually. And you press a button, it's done. A lot of things have improved in 3D. Like people are taking it like, oh my God, no. Hell, uh, doing exactly the same thing as I was doing, you know, 45 years ago when I started 3D. No, we don't. <laughs> I sure as fuck don't. Some of them, yeah, I still do them. And some of them I'm doing them because I'm also fucking, you know... Lazy. No, I'm... I'm a fucking dinosaur. Right? I got used to my workflow, my way of doing things. 
I'm looking at John who's learning plasticity, right? Like motherfucking, you all would go and fucking make booleans, right? Max ZBrush. When there are tools that make the life way easier. And it's not the only example, right? There are a lot of things that I prefer to do them my way. Right? The way I know it works and it's efficient for me. I mean, Boolean and Zebras is still legit, though. It is. It definitely is. But I'm not calling it like something bad. Right? But there are still things that evolve, and if you probably learn how to use them, are going to could change the speed of whatever you're doing tremendously. Done. Next. И ссылку NDI субшребеть. Не млоты, не млоты, не млоты. Степан. Thanks for the sub. Sub Vertex. There is no auto sub message on kick. I don't know, honestly. Uh, no, there is. Uh, you resubscribed during the night or something. I've seen uh, it was the first message when I opened up this morning. Plasticity is like more but better. Yeah. Right, that guys, the guy who made plasticity looked at what Fusion does, Moi does, and he tried to improve it with uh, with a lot of thinking in the game art direction, right? Of exporting. He made yeah. He made it artist friendly. Moi is not really artist friendly. And then I thought that I actually need to be careful with this direction also. So the same thing as up there. And the scales here. And these ones are going to go down. And then we're going to have to slowly switch them in this direction. I have solid works at work and the UI is literally 1982. You mean like Moi? Yeah, even worse.
save this in case it crashes and it fucks my my thing. Your thing. And so it goes, right? Change the direction. And this is gonna go up, 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 up. And then it's gonna switch. This is a split that many. Is Is Juni streaming? I don't know, you see? Juni? Are you streaming? Not you. Juni, are you streaming, Juni? 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 Are you waiting for... Are you waiting for Ken to wake up and start streaming together, like bros? When is John starting his plasticity streaming? I don't know, Ludwig. Ask him. Put pressure on him. He just said never, but you know how it is. It, it was the April Fool's joke? No, because it was uh, March 13th. So I would not say it was an April Fool's joke. Like over three D modeler, stare at the polygon and figure out quad flow. Uh, yeah, this is a bit more than that. I'm figuring out scale flow. The flow for Brit. If I would do Ritopo, it would be easy. But a different. Judy. Juni.
Hey Alex, we're doing flow for nanomesh, yes. Tell him, tell him Ludwigs, tell him. He might actually help you all and teach you plasticity. Is it's not like someone else is using plasticity, then you can ask him, right? Just ask John. Yes, Johnny, we know it's very difficult when you only have two monitors instead of three, but yeah. deal with it. <laughs> First world problems. Oh, this is fucking driving me insane. This is wrong here. But that's the problem. No, what the fuck? Crazy. This needs to be on this line. This is not on that line. Don't don't worry, Ludwig. I'm retired from streaming, so you're not banned. <laughs> Thank you for whoever gifted you a sub the other day, or for a bit. Uh, you can check in your notifications, but I don't recall. Did anyone gifted subs? I don't think so. I haven't seen gifted subs in a while. Maybe I didn't got a notification or something. Oh, Racy gave two days ago silently he gifted like fucking ninety six subs. Oh wow! I I didn't see notifications at all during the night or something after I ended the stream. Wow. I've got this really great friend, Nimwad. He's like really fantastic. Go check him out. Let's subscribe to him. Yeah, let's go. 
I need to say thanks. I I really didn't fucking see that shit. What's bugging me here? It's making no sense. So what's wrong with my topology here? Why doesn't it make any fucking sense? First second, my head's still dying. Stalin, Stalin's brain and everything. Uh, keep it to English. And this is top of one. Hey, I'm a rock. Uh, people keep asking me about George, but you know, guys, you can go in Discord and say, Hi, George, you okay? No, we can't. Uh, George moved from LA to Abu Dhabi and he's looking for. A house and you guys know that he had some health issues and you know you still yes Stalin we're gonna stand alone and again keep it in fucking English that's Romanian yes so Pogani stand alone so see I'm fluent in Romanian now are you? Oh, it's even better in Romanian. What am I doing? I'm uh, preparing some meshes to generate scales for this. And we're trying to figure out you know, positioning and whatnot for nano mesh. And I'm not, I'm like dumb here. I don't know what the fuck I did. It makes no sense. Ooh. I think I have like too many polygons. I need to. And that's the problem there. Because I think here I need to actually have like this. Like one more. To continue the flow. Yeah. I think that's the problem. And this will have like no. Bro, what the fuck? Mm. Nice source, they're going back to Twitter. Okay, bye. No, Alex, it was a poor fishing trip.
No, I fucking I'm gonna make triangles. Let's figure it out. I'm even fucking more confused. Fucking tight curve here makes no sense. Might be like that. And we definitely cannot continue this in in this way. And that's how it's gonna be. Never had to be just quads, actually that's for Nanomish. I wanted to actually do what I wanna do. Curious if it can be done with zero mesh with quite guides and then turn the topology like you want. No. I just I just got very like a very big angle here that turns into a very narrow one. Is a problem, right? This will be like this. It's kind of a shit. No, I deleted something wrong. But... Uh, you know what? Let's fuck it. Why do I even bother? I can just... Fucking... Not care. What's for food, then? What's for food? Yeah. I don't know, John brought... Um, the Romanian traditional food. I don't even know how it's called.
It's one of those areas where I said that I'll probably gonna have to manually play stuff. Make it look okay. I'm gonna have to make this smaller. Have a more even distribution to at least to a degree. It should work anyway. No nice begging for food. Ah. Uh. Enjoy Where your are food, cats? John. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your, your food. Thank you. Where are my cats? Mm -hmm. You yeah. can see one. Oh, I have to turn my head. Okay. You have to turn your head. Yeah. You have to watch my stream. I have to turn your head. You tried watching my stream? No. That's the problem. You're hunting for protein around the house? Ah, he was just hungry. Too much uh, plasticity. You don't have to say plastic, not plasticity. Why? Because plasticity is a bad name. Why? Because listen, like more fusion, solid works, it rolls out of your mouth like plasticity. It's hard to say. If you have a problem with it, yes. Deal with it. Don't ask I am, that's anybody. why that's why that's why don't I ask say other have... people to deal with your problem. No have a that's problem. why you have to say plastic. Like, like if you cannot Say plasticity, then say plastic, but don't ask me to say plastic. No, because if you say it, other people will say it, and other people will say it. maybe they will change their name, they will change their branding, they call it plastic. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that's how it works. I mean, if you try hard enough, no, no, fine. Ah. <sighs>
I mean, let's ask John. John, what do you think of the name plasticity? John is eating. He doesn't care about your opinion anyway. I'll ask him anyway. Also, John is a Romanian, DJ. What the fuck do you want him to say? DJ keeps babbling if you like the name plasticity. Exactly. That's what I said. You heard him? No. That's exactly what you were supposed to hear. Doesn't give a shit, just like everybody else except you. I'm pretty... Wait, let me... Okay. Okay. Let's see. I'll ask chat GTP. And ask chat GPT. GTP. What are you going to ask? If plus is the only a good one name? Think... Yes. Are you that bored? Maybe? No. You don't have anything else to do? I have lots of things to do. Why are you not making them? Because this is also important. Is it now? Yeah. Or the notification again? Oh, engine. No, I got a fucking notification in the kick chat. Hey, feature creatures. Apparently, I am the only one. <laughs> this YouTube video, my recommendation why I don't use plasticity. You know what? I don't give a shit why you don't use it. <laughs> Can I download it? I don't know. Can you? Man. Fucking Kios Maces, man. I don't know how he keeps doing it. He keeps doing what? Stuff. Like, is his design that he keeps on making? You know who they are, right? Kios Maces? No, who they are. You mean why why people are working? Is that what you're asking? No. I'm asking how he keeps on reinventing his designs. By working? He... Yes, but he can work but not create new stuff, you know? Of course you can. Every time you work you create new stuff. And the more you work, the more ideas you're gonna have to design stuff. Especially how Kios Mesas are doing when it comes to, you know, sci-fi or surface stuff, mostly. Fine. I'm, uh, I'm in the wrong here also, am I not? Fusion is not free zone. So it's actually very expensive and the exporting is quite uh, not great. I actually have plasticity drop them all. Why are corners beating me today? I'm everywhere, Zach. All platforms. 
Twitch, Kick, YouTube, and Twitter. And hi. What about Excel or Microsoft? What about Excel or Microsoft? You're not streaming on them, are you? Can you stream on Excel? Well, you could have retraced shadows in Excel, so. Yeah, but what does that have to do with streaming? Well, if you can do one thing, you can do the other. Interesting. <laughs> do not, I do not know what kind of drugs are you taking. <laughs> At least uh, on Twitch, you cannot say Blender. Want to say Blender? You have to move to the free platform, this kick. That's the only place where we have freedom of speech. I think you need to drink or some Twitter, water now. Or Twitter, for that matter. Do I stream on TikTok? No, but I should. I could. I was thinking to put TikTok and Instagram and Facebook all. LNR. It's a quadruple platform stream. Triple. Oh shit, I see what you did there. I mean, if I have, you know, the bandwidth, right, why not use it? it? It seems like it's working absolutely fine on all platforms. Only fans? I don't know if I can stream there. Well, you can. Yes, you can have live on TikTok and Instagram and whatnot also. It's an option in the multi stream. <laughs> Just undress my models. Yeah, but then it's not going to be a multi stream if I undress the model. Ah, uh, well, that's a problem. Exactly. Yeah, in, in, you know when I said earlier today that, okay, the sun is shining, I bet it's going to rain in an hour. Mm -hmm. well, and it's raining, huh? Yeah. Nice. Am I doing quads for nanomesh? Yes. We'll check it in a bit. I just want to make maybe like this part here. Do some tests. And realize that we fucked up everything and we need to redo it. Probably.
Will it live update if you use the modeler? I don't know, nor care. There's something about this fucking curse that drives me insane. Like, I honestly don't understand. Like, I have this, right? This is going like this. The orientation, right? And this is the orientation for each. And then I have this. It goes like this. Right? Correct orientation. And somewhere I'm fucking it up. Because this. It's like this. Change in direction. So if this. This cannot hit here. So this is the problem that I have. This will need to go down. And I don't know why I'm dumb like this and I cannot see it. Actually, the problem is here, I think. Because if I'm going to do auto, this is, yeah, that's the fucking problem. This points here, no matter what I'm going to do, it's not going to do that direction. But the direction is going to be this yes i can wing it and fix it later i would like to fucking figure it out I mean that this kind of transitions here will definitely gonna need to be fixed afterwards. This needs to disappear. This plug must are fucking way too big. I put a fucking star point, then the orientation of these polygons right, for the nano mesh is gonna be all over the place. The problem is that this will need to have like the flow here. Yes, this is the problem, right? We have one flow that goes like this, right? But we also have a flow that comes from here. Right? The, the round one. Right? So it meets up in this area where it's going to go places.
I'm gonna go with this flow here. I'm gonna come with the other flow here for a bit. I'm just gonna leave a hole in the center which will be manually placed stuff. But the videos, videos will end up on Patreon eventually, yes. As usual. This is actually this point, right? and this will be like this. No. You're about to buy my marvelous tutorial. Hope it's gonna help you. I spent a lot of time trying to make that. That you just wanted to make a quick buck. Yeah. Quick buck, yes. Quick buck. <laughs> Don't even know why I'm bothering that much, to be honest here. Quick Romanian level. Not lay low. Not quick bucks. It's quick, quick buck. We're thinking George. Yeah. Pretty much yes. Especially <laughs> since these are fucking separate, right? And I still. Gonna have to have areas where they're fucking different than the other floor.
especially since the whole point of these smaller scales is to be different. Not to mention that I would probably need to subdivide this before nano mesh. Subdivide? What is it, 1995? I will have to subdivide because I have, uh, like this once needs to be much smaller scales. Anyway, let's explore this one by one. Big scales. And medium scales. Zero one. Short medium scales zero two. And short. Small scales. I don't know what format I exported. Makes sense, right? Yes. OBJ. Okay. We can just append like this. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Why the fuck oh, yeah. this port now is different? I forgot about uh, the fucks. I have so many fucks here. <laughs> Damn! How the fuck didn't the previous one was also OBJ? It was OBJ. So why the fuck this imported correct? Was it because I took it to max first? Yeah, there's some issue with import export in motherfucking Topogana. Wait, what issue do I have? It's flipping my fucking shit all over the place. Hmm. The head ended up down there. Big, medium. Let's quickly make this. It's going to be the big one.
Six, the big skill. New is big, the medium. Insert the shapem. Keep. And we're gonna make another one. Just. Some better topology on this shit. You didn't read my question though, Nim. What question? In the chat. I don't see any question. Yes, no, can I ban Panju? Uh. No, why? He has immunity. <laughs> really? Yes. Okay. Now when you're you're so off that you know people need to protect you. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're lucky, punch you. What's the point? He's just gonna make another account and come say against the bishop. And I can call him Banju. <laughs> Third great mesh of gun. Okay, we have three fucking skills, right? So big skills. Make create not a mesh brush. Oh, my polygons, it doesn't matter. We need to sort out the orientation. So, one here that I don't want to make the correct direction. Mm -hmm. That can be fixed with the uh, 
was in zero measure, I think, right? That's it. And the key modular. Was that in Z modeler like the, to rotate the fucking thing? It's been ages, yes. Yeah, for some reason I was on the triangles and it was not doing it. Out of coffee again. Why am I always out of coffee? Did you drink too much? Oh, gun, why no music so you can listen to your own music? No. Instead of listening to my shit. I think Azalean, uh, Azalean confirmed that there are more uh, species alive than just the humans. No, this didn't do a good job. Went completely fucked up here. Yes, this needs manual work on all this fucking shit. Fucking great, mate. I think you can just, uh, let me see, show instances, I think I can just pick up like this. I, nah, I don't like the direction of that. You know, I'm just gonna flip it. No flipper. There are not that many.
that this is actually changing the Yes. Yeah, as I was saying, this is what we need division. Might be too too small, isn't it? I need to come somewhere in between. Motherfucking yeah. Also, why the fuck are these like so inwards? The other brushes are fine, this one is like no. People want to fucking drink. I'll be right back. In Гумду малай суп шребеть.
Bak. Hey, the mouse thanks for the sub. Just seen I'm streaming on three places, actually four. There's Twitter also. Hey, Mariana. I started placing manual scales. Not about right. Cartoras. Streaming everywhere.
Hida, how is that you? No, it's not that. Uh... Someone joined Discord? Yeah. But uh, he's muted. Ah, uh, yeah. Hello. Oh, it is one. Yes, I don't know. No, no, what I did. Oh my god, your volume is so low, Razwan. I, I have you at max. You need to sort out your microphone. I don't know what I, I what I have done. I was so uh, in your streaming and I thought you are on Twitch. But I am on Twitch, YouTube yeah. and Kick and Twitter. But you need to sort out your mic microphone because we can barely hear you. Uh, I will I will exit. <laughs> I see you on stage, please. You can stay as well. No one no one is killing you. Oh. Hey Ken. I have to check what is wrong with the mic. See how you can boost up your volume. Outside. Outside, outside of Discord, probably. Mm -hmm. I deleted that what was the fucking other spheres. That what was the fucking other spheres. Mm -hmm. Fuck. I have managed to open Skype. I haven't used Skype in like forty five years, I think. Still exists Skype? Yeah. Jesus, how, how did I manage to even open it? Jesus Christ. Man, I feel so old, you know. Skype was the shit back in the day. Used to be. I used to have the mentorship calls on on Skype before uh, you know. Discord actually started uh, giving us the possibility to stream at high resolution. Share the screen at high resolution. Hey, yes, Iguana, are you calling this a fucking iguana? I'm gonna ban you, yes. Now we're all on Discord, but I still have Skype for some fucking reason. I managed to open it. I don't even know how. I was trying to open the all scene to pick up the lights. So fucking annoying. Zoom is even better than Twitch, uh, than, than Skype. Yeah, I'm on Twitter. Notice me. I see you, Indy. I see you. Though I'm not really looking at the Twitter chat because no one cares. Hi, Smokey. Smokey.
Oh, Pixel Rabbit. That's that's someone we haven't seen in like four to five years. Mm. Oh fuck! Entire. <laughs> very smart. Very smart. I. I actually need to convert them. That's how this motherfucker works. What the fuck was that button? Was it in geometry? What the fuck was that button? Convert BPR to Geo. What's And he left. No stress in the head. You're here. Try to solve your microphone, Razvan, and join us. Don't even get to know these people who like your work. Ooh, what work? Razvan, it's the dude who's making props for. who used to make props for Don't Nod. Mm -hmm. I've shared some of his work lately. Hmm? No. Hmm. I'm still doing Discord. What do you mean? I mean this, I mean this shit, man. So you were that fucking lazy to not look first if I'm in yeah, Discord? Discord wasn't launched yet. Oh, Stop no. judging me. Stop judging my ass. Oh, fuck. On a scale from 1 to 10, how high are you? How high? Mm. I'm pretty tired. No, oh, tired. That's how it's called mm. today. Got it. I'm, I only had like, you know, 5G of weed, I'm just tired. <laughs> no, I trained two, 2 hours and 40 minutes today. I'm legit tired. Mm -hmm. it, was my, it was my friend's baby shower and the most creative thing he could fucking think of was, um, let's train boys, you know, so mm -hmm. that's what we did. Makes sense. Yeah, totally, huh? I mean, it's South Africa. Cannot be <laughs> otherwise. Well, it it is his profession. You, you have to. I gotta. Come. You know, train constantly, so you can survive. You're fucking mm. white. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. 
Survival is key here. How's life going? What you're working on? Where's your portfolio stuff? I'm, I'm working on How's the family? The family is okay. Baby's growing up. We got a dog. Got a dog? Yeah. Life is life is going great. Nice. <laughs> Man, could be worse. Yeah. Could be. Could be. Tell you, Nim, everyone's growing up, marrying, getting kids. Bro, I know, right? You, you need to understand, right? There is eight years of streaming. After eight years, right? Some of those kids who are, you know, 18, <laughs> we're going to say 18, started streaming. <laughs> now they're 26. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I was 18, though. I was 18 though. Don't, don't worry. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll always. I, I mean, my stream was marked for mature and you were coming to my stream. <laughs> so it was definitely, you are definitely 18. I started watching when I was 17. Okay. Don't, 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 don't say hard. that. Bro, read the room. Your daughter is 8, going to be 9 this month. Yes, you see. Damn. Time goes like that. And I check Discord DMs. Why? Can wow. you come in voice? Yes, you can come in voice. <sighs> you know, a good thing about constantly getting like rejection emails that you're actually becoming really good at your reading and that I don't need to fully read them anymore. Should be able to join now, Yosef. Normally, you should be a subscriber on Twitch to be able to join. That was the the first thing that we did after we got botted by Russian screaming dick and you know racial slur <laughs> in this card. Hello. Hi. Hi. You're still twenty nine, but your back is seventy. Ludwig, motherfucker, you're like forty. What are you talking about? It's absolutely normal for your back to be like 70. She's a better artist than DG. Wow. Wow, Indy. What did DG ever do to you? Because you, you realize that DG is not actually watching the stream to see all the chat, right? DJ is silent. He's he's at the bathroom. He didn't even got that. No, I was, I was uh, getting angry over this this millionth rejection email. I mean, at least you can say you have like a lot of experience, you know, trying to get a job. Yeah. Am I gonna separate the mouth teeth or merge it with the head? I don't even know. I mean, 
in high poly, I'll definitely have the teeth separate, right, and the tongue and whatnot. Now in low poly, I'm gonna do stuff. At least he's getting emails back. You don't, Indy? At least he's getting emails, huh? What, Ken? What's happening? Yeah, I, we. that's what we tested right now. Right? Some of the scales. But this area here, I'm going to want it to have like higher density, right? Because at, at this point, it's very similar to this. So it's too uniform. There needs to be like more, more separation. Am I on Twitch? I'm. I'm everywhere, standard. Literally everywhere. Right? I just need to add OnlyFans and TikTok, and we're done. We have them all platforms at once streaming. We're streaming on four platforms right now: Twitch, Kick, YouTube, and Twitter. You heard that hiring now uses AI. Well, you know, HR departments were using, you know, filters, like word filters for a long, long time. Hiring, I've said it all my life, right? Like you want to get hired, you, you don't apply. You get good enough for them to look out for you. Applying it's 99% of the time it's gonna be a fucking dead end. So you either get good enough or you, you know, get to meet the right people. Give me a second because I don't know what my cats are destroying. Getting hired is overrated. Should get higher. I think that's uh that's uh, the life motto for Pixel here. <laughs> yep. Why get hired when you can get fire? DG has been applying so much for years. Yes. Did you want the perfect job? I don't think did you want the perfect job. I think did you actually apply to like every fucking company out there? Yeah. But he's, you know, he's doing pro part, which is the lowest fucking grade of 3D art. And uh, studios oriented themselves mostly to outsource this kind of work. So if if it's keeping like outsource studios, then it's you know very difficult to, to actually get a job. Like skull and bones, Alex. What's the highest? Highest what, Arthurus? So how can a prop artist survive nowadays? How can a prop artist what? Survive nowadays. By being lucky or very good. I did apply to roommate Rusty. I got I got ghosted. They didn't even get back at me. 
Mitrit. Wait, wait, wait. Who the hell is Mitrit? <laughs> it's a mod. I don't know who he is. <laughs> it's me, Indy. <laughs> wow, Indy. Okay, Seagal, take care. I fucking hate you all for changing goddamn nicknames. I don't I don't grasp it. Why? Why would you do that? Why why would you confuse all your friends? You know what I mean? No no. I said the right. Oh the grade in uh, in 3D art. Yeah, like we're you know prop art is like the lowest. Then you, you upgrade. Right. You either go characters or you go environment tech art. Right. That's kind of like that direction. So you learn, you know, world building, you learn, you know, dream sheets and all that kind of fucking crap that you need to, to learn. If you don't, right, you're going to be at the lowest. Like just doing props, that's it. It's props. You can specialize though. Right? Like there are people who are only making vehicles or weapons. But that's an upgrade from gen general prop artist. But even that, it's not gonna guarantee your jobs, right? Unless you're like really, really good. And then after that, you know, it's production stuff, producer and you know, art directors, and all that shit. I don't know, I think jobs will start popping up again in this period, feature creatures. I doubt it. You doubt it? Why? I don't know anymore, man. I mean, I have years of experience. I've worked on big titles, yet still I can't even get like a single interview. Again, because you're applying. Like all this time that you spent applying, you should have marked it yourself. I told you this for years. Put out their good work constantly and bring a big, big follower base and you're going to have way more chances. Mm. But honestly, it's, it's difficult. It still is difficult, right? Even with the right portfolio, if people don't like you, they don't like you, you know, and there are definitely going to be people out there that have seen your stream or seen some jokes you make and they're going to disregard you because of that. Also, you know, you need to, to push, constantly push. Mm -hmm. And the I fact that that they, that they, that they actually that company interview that I had that they picked a guy with a lesser portfolio than mine. That yeah, actually, but he probably did better at the test, or yeah, know, he knows man. someone in the company, or he asked way lower salary, or he just impressed them with the interview. I mean, if if your character can make them like you more than well, UDG, then they're going to hire him because I like him more. Exactly. It's all, it's about charisma also and whatever. Mm. I said it so much. It's kind of sad because, you know, we as artists have to do like fucking marketing stuff. But it is how it is, right? It, it needs to be done. I, I fucking hate this with mass layoffs. What mass layoffs? How is that different from any fucking other year? It's it's the amount. Hmm. The amount. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The amount that the journalists write. 
the amount of exactly the amount of uh, promotional uh, right. panic stuff yeah yes. exactly it's just promote a lot of panic is going to be good for everyone i also think it's a little bit of ai G give me a second a lot of... it's, as i replied at some point with an article mm -hmm. from 2019 mm -hmm. let me see if i can find it Ah, I tweeted too much lately. Are you okay, Nam? No, but that's okay. not nothing new. Oh. It's from outside, Lulix. Imagine it having a bird in, inside the house with seven cats. That's <laughs> definitely gonna end up well. <laughs> Good luck with that. Hmm. I swear to God, I cannot find that shit. Oh, I did. There you go. Article from 2019. Hmm? Does this sound familiar? What is it about? Game industry layoffs driven by past mistakes and certain future analyzed. Thanks for the sub, Alex. There you go, it's like, uh, over the past 18 months, we have seen the closure of Telltale, uh, Bandai Namco Vancouver, Capcom Vancouver, Visceral Games, Motiga, Gazillion, The Bartley Joe Supernatural yeah. Detective Agency, Boski, Wargaming, Seattle and Carbine. In addition, layoffs hit Harmonix, The Chinese Room, Disney Canada, Fellbetter, Volition, Codemaster, Robot Entertainment, ArenaNet, Big Fish Games, Jam City and others. Things reach a fever pitch in February when Activision Blizzard announced layoff of 8% of its worth. Sounds familiar? Uh-huh. It's exactly the same shit. Old. Every fucking year this shit happens. The only yeah, thing was, was that old. during the pandemic there was a, a, a higher number of uh, people hired because they needed, you know, backup for all the remote work, right? They didn't know exactly how they're going to support uh, in terms of numbers, the amount of, uh, you know, characters and props and whatnot needed for production. But otherwise, getting people getting fired happened every single fucking year since I'm working in the industry. This never changed. The end of the year, beginning of the year, you know, it, from October, November till like February were layoffs, right? End of the year when they make the fucking numbers on paper. Some big boss, especially in big companies like Blizzard and whatnot, you know, fire 10%. Fire 10%. Right? For the numbers. And then they start the fucking projects. And they're like, okay, let's hire, right? Because right after this, like maybe five, six months, right? Blizzard was trying to hire me. That's how it works. But people so the like, reason for people getting fired is because they need more talented people in their team, or no? They the reason for for people getting fired is that some motherfucker in, head of studio, right, who only looks at Excel sheets, right? The numbers don't add up, right? So they need to clean up the fucking board, and in general, that forces studios to kind of like 
you know, drop off a lot of people who are less skilled in general. Or in case if numbers are really bad, they will drop studios completely, right? There were so many cases where uh, the industry, you know, just gave up on games and the whole teams were being fired. But that happens every fucking year. Literally. Yeah, but it's a, it's a good excuse to get rid of some of the people, Standard Gamer. It's not easy to get rid of uh, people hired uh, in-house, right? There needs to be some big thing happening to, to have mass layoffs, right? And to get rid of some people. I know cases of people who were studios, like big name studios, struggled for eight years to get rid of one person who was not doing anything at work because there was nothing to do but he was doing everything they asked him to do but it's i think this year like people overreacted, but I think it's also because we we're in the middle of a fucking financial crisis, right? Prices skied up, right? And we we got two hundred percent increase in basically everything, and it's normal that people got a little bit panicky, but it was perpetuated so much by by social media, right? all everything like oh my god, so many everybody's firing people you know there's no jobs there still are jobs not for digital but i don't really understand what's going on with dj he's either like avoiding some of the studio or he's super fucking unlucky well i would actually say the latter because as soon as i see something that's interesting i apply so i don't know man Sounds like blacklisted. I don't know. It's it's weird. It's weird he's not getting some of the jobs. At least, at least like for some of the smaller studios he applied to. I understand. Like major studios usually make like a thorough background check, right? And they might end up not liking him because you know he's streaming. Because I know people who used to stream and they they were forced to like disappear from social media to get a job. But his, yeah, again, a, a lot of his problems come from the fact that he's applying. I haven't found a good offer for a month and a half, and you're wondering if you were right to jump from movies to video games. It is how it is. And always move forward. If not, there's always the possibility to grow potatoes, right? Hey, sorry, I'm back. You'll come back. For some reason, my PC completely froze. I don't know why. Well, buy a better PC. Not, not this time. <laughs> Why do you sound different, Joseph? What do you mean? You have a new microphone or something? No, I'm using the same headset. It's weird. The same microphone. Sound different. Probably because maybe I, I might sound different and I speak Romanian. Maybe because you're speaking English. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> Are you Romanian? Yeah, yes, I'm Romanian. Is. Well, you speak very, your accent is very neutral. Thank you.
It sounds like indie a bit. Nah. I sound like what? I said you sound like indie. Indie being in the respawn in chat on Twitter or mid-treat on Twitch. Really? I thought I sound like an Indian or something. No, that's Hanil. Don't sound like Hanil. Sound like goddamn Rick from Rick and Morty. <laughs> yeah, sure. So this is the scale tech. Yes, this is the the scale tech. So it's all hidden tech. You're Andalusian, you're more Arab than Caucasian. So is Digi. I mean, I don't know why Digi is not playing the diversity card. I mean, why should I? I mean, you know. You're Persian, you're gay. I mean, you can go all the way. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'd rather get hired because I'm good at something rather than using my race. We're getting hired. Or my uh, sexual orientation. That's okay. You don't have kids to feed, so fine. You don't have. Indy, we all know you're fucking Italian, bro. You can pretend you're American, but we all know you're Italian. Your life is spaghetti. Dummy. Are you working on a retopology, Georgian? No. I'm working on the base for a mesh where that I use to generate the skills in Zipper. To place the skills. Oh, let's say right, like... for the skills. What, Pixel? I said it looks so relaxing. Is it? Yeah. Hello. Why not? Hey, the... Hi, the... Hello. What's up, everyone? You got 
laid off last year and got a new position this year, Arthuras. There you go, you see? They are still hiring. Where's your stream, Ken? Weren't you supposed to start streaming with Jay and Juni? You're still in your morning meetings? I don't get it. I don't... Why so many meetings? I feel like John is not really a big fan of plasticity right now. <laughs> Struggling. I can hear him like. Hmm. AJ. Is he doing the weapons or? Doing some oh. stuff that I cannot talk about because it's no. Ah, okay. Yay. Work. It's not personal. Not personal. Give him a mic. I should, shouldn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Can hear comments from the background. He doesn't want to. Ah. Oh. He's like too focused there. I told him he, he could join. Hey, no man. How's it going?
heard. What was that? They're starting a new project for Docker. What the fuck is a council? I see it in English. Not council. Whatever. Docker mayor office. That's One hundred fifty euros. That's yeah, a bastard, huh? What music do you guys listen to? Come on. Music of life. Give me some uh, some songs to add to my playlist. Nicola, you good. <laughs> Get the fuck out, Yusuf, right now. <laughs> and and one. Both of you. No, that's it. Out. Out. No, I'm kidding. Just pop. Open to suggestion? Yes. Any kind of music except Manele. <laughs> <laughs> Manele. Face of Blue Ridge. What is that? Let's see. Is that a song? Or a band? I don't know. This week I listened to a lot of Pantera and Red Hot Chili Peppers. Huh? What feelings? Right now. Whatever you, you're trying to send me. Or YouTube if you don't have Spotify. So, Pantera sounds good. Mark Morton, all I had to lose. Maybe you can try listening to Steve Vai. Oh, 
falar errada. That what you're listening, listening to this bitch? one. Renaissance lute music. I think fantasy broke you, Ludwig. Steve Vai is good and chill. If I make the topology flow in a normal way, will the nano mesh work perfect? No. No, like, think about it, uh, Archer, right? If I would make topology, let's say, like this. Wrong fucking uh, brush. If I would make topology like this, right? Then the scales are going to be like this. Which is not what we want, right? Because we need our scales to be like scales. And for that, you need diamonds. You're curious what I think about uh, Dragon's Dogma 2? I enjoyed it. A PS4 graphic quality. Uh, a lot of similar things to with Elden Ring, but with better animation without uh, refurbishing old garbage. And a, an honest rendition of, you know, all the fantasy cliches from dragons to you know princesses and mages and elves and dwarves and all that do i prefer male male or female voice i prefer any voice i don't uh, i don't discriminate when it comes to voice i like this one screaming a, a little bit chill but it's a uh, it sounds good it's uh, Mark, uh, Mark Morton. Yeah, it's out in there. Okay, what was there was a link from I. Seco taste of blue. Let's see what this is. Georgian, do you like Megatath? I'm not a big fan. But don't don't say classics, because classics everybody knows, right? Come with Pantera and coming with Metallica. Okay. Like I, I, have you ever heard Metallica? I need to listen to new music, not the one that you know <laughs> already super famous and everybody heard it in one way or another. Hmm. That's a hard one then. You're still trying to tie up some of the side quests in Chapter 1 in DD2? Yeah, I, you know, once you play through the game, Ludwig, you realize that you're going to fuck up a lot of the quests. Some of, of the quests are... you cannot make them. Even, uh, like... I, I don't know. You know I don't want to spam it. Uh, you know, ruin it for anyone. But there's uh, there's things that you need for multiple quests at mom different times, so no one says that you're gonna need shit for those. And even if you could, 
Thanks for the sub, uh, yeah. Even uh, if you would know beforehand, right? It's a uh, pretty difficult to us to actually uh, keep the items and have them for for multiple stuff. So in general, just go through, just go through. Enjoy the quest that you have that you find. Some of the quests are super fucking hidden. It's it's crazy. All right, I'm gonna go. Okay, Pixel. Have a good Family one. Family came. So bye, Pixel. Keep attention. All right, okay. have a good one. Bye. See you. Good luck. Have a great Thanks. time. <laughs> Been a while. Am I streaming on both now? I'm streaming on, on all four. We're on uh, Twitch, Kick, YouTube, and uh, Twitter. Yeah, this is better, I think. Having everyone watching. Everything is far too easy to kill now. Well, you probably are overpowered for Act 1 if you just, you know, go crazy to to figure out each quest, right? Okay, I... Sorry. I'm not a fan of that song. It was like, not really, not really. I see. What what else was? What's that, what Mariano? Music you want? That yeah, any type? I don't. I I'm really listening to all kind of shit. Oh, okay. Tarkat Trunen. Give me a song from from her, Mariano. Or shall I pick one randomly? Like looks like Paradise is like the most listened on Spotify at least. Did you listen to the Mirath new album? To what? Mirath. Metal. No. No. You have a I song that's like one song. Ah, one. Link okay. Spotify or YouTube. Let's see which one is good. Link in chat because I cannot listen them all at the same time. Yeah, of course. Nemo. Rafa Nemo. Uh, oh. Okay, found it. Let's see. Wasn't listening, you say I do not like reality. I don't even know who's reality. night wish yeah but it's annoying <laughs> it really is annoying do you like this mariana this nemo song sounds like someone punched a, an opera singer <laughs> <laughs> and she's like oh, oh my god Do you like listening to drum and bass? I'm li I, I'm literally listening to all kinds of music, to a degree. Right? But it really needs to sound good. I, I don't care. Okay, let's see what Nomad was. Young blood when we die. When we die. It little yachty. And then we'll pick up uh, 
Yosef, stop sending 45 songs. I cannot listen to all of them in, in a span of three minutes. <laughs> Do I know Chevelle? Sounds familiar. Listen, Brazilian funk? No. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, today I was listening to some Russian hip-hop song. Stumbled on. Which apparently John already knew. So. <laughs> God knows. John is more hip than me. Yes, yes, he is. <laughs> but apparently that song, it's like on a lot of, you know, reels, which I don't really watch. So I don't no fucking clue. Okay, look, who was with the uh, young blood? That was Nomad, yeah. Because uh, the chorus, it's come and do drugs with me. Ah, can we still <laughs> get high? <laughs> so, <laughs> bro, <laughs> can, can, we, can we still get high? Can we still get high? Come and Too much do drugs, drugs with me. <laughs> it's fucking funny. It's not, it's not a bad song, but the chorus is fucking annoying. <laughs> because he, he, it's mostly annoying because he keeps repeating. Really fucking repeating. Okay, let's see what Japo must have. Reality. Reality. Oh, he's God. Okay, let's see. Abel, you're already done with your stream cooking. Thanks for the raid. Okay, you guys need to stop down. I already have like 45 songs to listen. <laughs> this will take at least, you know, three hours. Two hours. Yeah, three hours. Going to enjoy your last day of Easter break? Yeah, but I said Easter, so happy Easter, you know. This song sounds familiar. I might have heard it somewhere. 
a reality one. Or it just sounds similar to some other shit that I've heard. You asked what vocation I ended up playing in Dragon's Dogma. I played three different vocations. I started fighter, then 60% through the game I moved to archer, which I really fucking enjoyed. Surprisingly, it was super fun to play. Um, then I tried the magical archer, which I fucking hated. And the last vocation was the, the dude with the... What, what the fuck is called the last vocation? I can't recall the name of it. The one with the stuff. The, the rogue with magic. That's what I ended up the game with. What the fuck is the name of the vocation? Oh my god. Yeah, uh, Mystic Spear Hand. That's that's a really nice one. I mean, that that one, the Mystic Spear Hand, it's literally uh, you cannot die with that. You have a skill that m makes you immune. All you have to do is spam it. Then you have four seconds to beat the shit out of everything. Sub the Sean. It's literally like unbeatable. But I really liked Archer. Like it was fun to play Archer. I was not expecting to be that much fun. You don't want to uh, play Warfare uh, Indie because you're losing one active skill just to have the skill to cycle through, which is no, no combination, honestly. And given how easy it is to change your vocation in game, there's no real reason. Okay, it was not a bad song, uh, that royalty thing. What else do we have here? We have some, some more stuff. Alex sent some, some stuff. Young the Giant. Was the clothing simulation in 5.3? You mean 5.4? You got me confused for a second. I was like, what fucking 5.3 is he talking about? At a Blender new version or something? Yeah, uh, afterwards I realized that you said 5.3 instead of 5.4 That it's unreal It took me a second to figure out
the magic archer was a terrible thing to play honestly uh at least maybe with maybe with controller it's more fun but with mouse and keyboard that fucking class it's bad no i'm not doing retopo kenrix this is not retopo Is the base for nano mesh to make skills? No, I haven't uh, managed to play Trickster. As I, I'm not a big fan of uh, sorcerer stuff in any game, any RPG, whatever. I rarely play sorcerer. So I skipped everything that was, you know, wizard in any way. I've seen, uh, who the fuck was playing uh, Trickster? I think that class is very different than any class in the genre. Yeah, J-Mac. You know what the best part is, Ludwig's, when you understand that you can change the class for your pawn also. And you don't have to be constrained to only one. Yeah, I usually play fighter. That's that's my stuff in any fucking game, right? I want to be there up close, you know, and beat the shit out of things. Uh, spamming stuff from distance is not really my thing. What am I making, Roblox? I'm uh, making some skills for for this. And I need a base mesh for it to build up those. Yeah, a Mystic Spear had had a lot of different things, and it's it's cool that you also can play it in multiple ways, right? You can focus on on uh, stunning them and throwing them around or you can just go into you know fight which is is pretty cool and even that basic attack right when you start after you upgrade it and you start spinning constantly as long as you you keep the button down that's fucking great it's like insane and the fact that you can spam some some of the magic stuff while you're you're you know, fighting with a with that skill, which is also cool. It has some interesting mechanics. This fucking game. Yes, I did. The big fucking combo. It is. It is. I I really, I enjoyed it. Uh, I I really enjoyed play, uh, playing with the Mystic Spearham. But I think I think all the classes can be played in in a very fun way. I would have loved this game to be more varied, right? Like the the monsters kind of like repeat themselves a lot, right? As you have, you know, a few archetypes of the bosses in the world. It's it's very interesting that because it has like some very secret areas or some very hidden bosses and whatnot. Also, imp important day night cycle, which is very Elden Ring. But there's some uh, some very cool stuff. To find in the game. See, it's a good game. Not the best, but a good game. 
fun. I'm sure they'll make I think they they sold pretty well. So I don't see why they would not push a DLC. That's probably gonna be next year or something. Yeah, Manor Lords is coming this year, right? I said I'm gonna want to try that one. And Frostpunk is coming. Frostpunk 2. Is it like next month? Right? In May. Yeah. There's still a few games that I would play this year. Not many, but still a few. Path of Exile is coming. Hmm? Path of Exile 2 is coming uh, next month or two months. Path of Exile 2 is coming now. Yeah. Where have you seen it? Not Even? now, like this year, I think. I don't think Path of Exile is coming any time sooner than, I don't know, end of the year, if it's coming. Ah, okay. I'm not sure that it's coming. I mean, Path of Exile 2 is still coming for, for like three years now. Ah, it's a close beta. Uh, in June. Well, let's talk with Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, where are you, Kevin? Forever whip. Show yourself. Give us the keys for Path of Exile 2. That's what they show. It looks really nice. It looks promising, yes. Uh -huh. Do I follow tennis? Not that much. But yeah, I, I've watched tennis occasionally. Elder. I'll be right back in five minutes. No. Why is it good that you see me back on Twitch? What's the difference from any other platform? Mm, for people who want to watch me, they were anywhere I would go in the end. Okay, let's see, I forgot to 
click on yeah, other links. Uh -huh. What did you send me here? Miras? That's Miras. Yeah. Miras. Mm -hmm. New Year's really lurking around and you heard I got banned. I was banned last year in what May June for 30 days because I uh, disagree with some uh, current narrative in all social media. Mobile app is better on Twitch. Is it See what Arthur has sent me. Ahmed Meki. Is this the uh, Arab uh, hip hop? Egyptian hip hop? Is AOZ still being developed? No, not by me. I don't know what they do. It's so fun to listen to hip hop in a language that you have no fucking clue what they're saying. Like they can say whatever the fuck. All right, I'm back. Why? Well, I finished <laughs> my things. Gotcha there. He's telling an emotional story of his friend dying from drugs. Yeah, but like, you know, most of the point for for hip hop is not to actually understand the lyrics. If you don't understand the lyrics and you want to enjoy a 
hip hop song, then the beat needs to be fucking amazing. Which is not the case. That's a very basic thing he has there. So not understanding is not really helping selling that story. Big rabbit. What else do we have there? You'll see with some uh, electronic music with good kids. how how different music hits different people like for this uh, DJ turn it up from dimension uh, Yosef I need drugs like, <laughs> it doesn't work otherwise like <laughs> I don't, and I don't think even like you know five Red Bulls and three coffees will still not put me in the place to you know feel this song so I think I need something more than that so very often like especially people who are listening to electronic music and whatnot like do you guys like stay at, at home and listen to this kind of stuff it's like, like just <laughs> chilling and like going <laughs> Going crazy on the chair. <laughs> yes, John. Are, are you chilling like at home, working on in plasticity? Yeah. And you're like, <laughs> good job. How? <laughs> How do you do you get the the energy to to feel it? Yeah. Okay, guys. See you. Gym time. Take care. Bye. Enjoy your gym. All right. Bye. Bye. Hmm? Good, thank you. Ah. Hey, where the fuck is that, Alex? Did you just drop the journey? Don't stop believing. This is a song for DJ and anyone in his position. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Alex sent you a, a song to not be sad anymore. Mm. Easier said than done. Easier said than done.
told you guys, making these fucking scales are gonna take me three weeks. Yeah, you didn't believe me. No, unless you have something that will keep you busy for three weeks. Software name, this is the uh, Topogun. Sorry, Topo Software. Topo Fun. Topo Fun.
Yeah, Sam. My graphic card, uh, MSI and NVIDIA 3090. What is this sorcery? I'm making a mesh for nano, nano mesh. I'll see in a bit because I'll, I'll test it again. In a second. Yes, yeah, some of the colors are for scale or topology guidance. Uh, they're for scale types. Right. We made a quick test here. Okay. So I have like three types of scales here. Right. The ones here in the middle, the border ones, and the big ones here. Like the, the center line. You see? This is the center line. These are like this and this are like borders and this one it's uh, like the center the filler you have zero to what i said well there's a tool in zbrush that you never used which is called nano mesh which lets you duplicate one object on each polygon for example of a mesh and so i'm building the mesh to do to generate that scale on each of these polygons. But you should know nano mesh, though. So.
you believe you can rotate objects inside an animation? Of course you can rotate, scale, generate variation and all that shit. You can rotate them one by one by changing the orientation of the triangulation of the polygon. But this is to to give me the ability to build up scales like in reality, right? I'll say it again. Right? If I make a scale here and a scale here, right? The next scale is gonna be, you know, the way it's supposed to be, like an armor. That's why I'm doing this. And then I need like different densities and shit. And you know, check the flow of the because the flow of the the polygons is different from you know whatever random shit. So I need to figure it out. That's why we painted the colors. We have a guide. And once we build up our overall thing, then we'll start, you know, adjusting each scale to have believable variation and whatnot. Gonna play a Stellar Blade then? I should. I should buy that just because it, you know, it's anti current narrative in games. It's not Fable. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. Or Horizon Zero Dawn. It's not my kind of game, you know, this fighting uh, for the stuff, sci-fi. I wouldn't call it my type of game. I think like the creatures look nice though. The enemies. What's my opinion on people saying New Suicide Squad has worse graphic than old one, the Batman game? I think Suicide Squad has, in some areas, worse attention to detail than the old Batman games. In some places? In a lot of places, but let's say some for the sake all of the it. the place, I'd say. I think there is a... There's a downgrade in attention to details. And it's it's not only in the, that game, it's in a lot of games nowadays. Yeah, 
I think it should be illegal that if you release like a great game that looks great, and the next game looks like doesn't look good, it should be illegal. Yeah, especially, tell that especially, to Ubisoft. Yeah, exactly. Especially if there's like amount the amount of money that's like been pumped into it, like. I don't even know how much money was pumped into Suicide Squad. A lot. A lot, because they're very upset. Because people, you know, are not playing the game. I mean, I cannot blame them, to be honest. They wanted live service, but they won't have people to live service the shit out of that. If you look at the attention to detail in like the Arkham games... Same like suit. Same studio doesn't mean same people, which is a very common mistake. I mean, that is true though. From from goddamn fucking Batman games till now, I don't know if even 10% of the people were still there. And again, it's enough to have one person in a deciding position to fuck up the whole quality of a game and it was outsourced as well exactly and the whole fucking thing with outsourcing nowadays man. they're not making in-house stuff paying attention to details So what? Who who made Suicide Squad? What their fucking name is? Rocksteady. Well, Rocksteady. They're Rocksteady. It's a <clears throat> it's a what indie studio? Warlock. Yeah, Rocksteady is AAA though. They're under Warner Brothers. Hey, Lucas. In this all in house, not even in this. I mean, it depends how indie. Actually, no, Jap. Well, the production of that game was like, uh, was years. Years on paper, like skull and bones, or actual yeah. years, because we don't know. Skull and bones. Skull and bones was because what, uh, thirteen years on paper meant probably five months actual production. Because let's be honest. Uh, if you had anything more than five months, you would have done so. No, the reason because my ex company worked on it. Elite Elite 3D worked on the Suicide Squad. If I may ask, how long did it take them to produce Suicide Squad? No. The thing is, the thing is, if I recall correctly, Suicide Squad was first a Batman game, but then it was it was. Um, I think they they cancelled the project for a while, and then they revived it again, and then it became Suicide Squad. Ah, I get very old till I finish this, don't I? Yeah, exactly like Scott Embo. Cancel, postpone, 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 and then dropped 
for one quick cash grab, basically. I mean, the thing is with Skull and Bones is because they wanted to cancel the project, but because the government invested in them. What was it in like uh, Thailand? Yeah, in Thailand. They had to, the because the government invested in them, they had to release it because if they didn't, they would get fined or something. Of course, because, you know, poor fucking Ubisoft cannot afford to make games by themselves. Yeah. They need to fucking Singapore, money from yeah. the from the government, yes. My bet was not Fucking the business, man, I Singapore. swear to God. The poor bastards. Imagine. They actually needed support to finish some games. Could not fucking deal with the you know, harshness of of life in all their 45 studios yeah 45 studios and i still cannot get into any of them <laughs> do you really want to be in a fucking ubisoft today? i mean I, I still think they have like some interesting titles like beyond good and evil 2. There's so much drama in game industry these days, like one amazing looking showcase comes out and about Black Panther game and next day manager from that company says openly she doesn't hire white people. She did say that. I mean, it's a, it's a weird world we're living in where, you know, uh, someone's ability, it's a... Uh, less important than you know the color of the skin or their sexual orientation whatever we can call it reverse racism in the end. yeah it is still being developed because i had an interview with that uh with the studio that was actually working on it But they wanted to give me an artist, and I said, like, yeah, no thanks. Yeah. <laughs> No, but like the the whole, you're go you guys are gonna get me banned if I start talking about this shit. I'm just no, don't talk about it. Let's leave the conversation about uh, diversity hiring. Mm -hmm. You know where that leads. It's stupid anyway. People should get hired only for what they can fucking do. That's it. Period. Nothing else. I need more coffee, I'll be right back.
Флатрону 2042 SI субшребеть. Welcome back. Hey, Typhoon. Yada. Yada, what the fuck are you doing here? Not saying even hi. Am I doing sleepy? It's gonna be fine, Ludwig. You'll sort it out. I should have opened the other light because this is making my head. Look like Jesus with a halo. Let the red topo for the border differ from for the other ones, or do I split them toward the end and customize each section? I'm not sure I understand the question. As I said, first and foremost, this is not red topo. We're doing the topology so that we can use nano mesh, right? which is this okay. we have the topology here and we build on each of those right we're gonna have one inserted mesh which is a scale in our case okay. that's what we're doing with that topology and we have it separated into multiple pieces because we have multiple types of scales and different flows I prefer to make it manual if I want to have something that makes sense. Houdini probably, but whatever. Yes, I, I mean, <clears throat> I'm sure you can use some sort of just drawing directions in, in a software with node-based stuff, right? drawing direction and have like variation and whatnot but the time that will take you to set up the whole fucking thing it's going to be probably the same unless you make it in production right where you have to make like say 50 dragons and then that would make sense to have a full pipeline set up like that does the shape of the square differ for each scale it's like you know if you want bigger scales and stuff because you see for example this ones right i have some bigger ones here and then I, I slowly go into a slight gradient right like i make them smaller so they you know just like in reality nothing will be the same and then you come up with even with more variation that you're going to have into your nano machine here right so you're going to have maybe a variation of position or height or you know like some of them will be higher or lower like this you see or maybe they will have a different rotation a slight different rotation and in the end we're still gonna come and uh, you know cut on this stuff because we want you know 
for them to look unique we cannot just use a single uh scale and call it done even though you know from distance probably you will not see it right like this and once you have texturing and everything you're gonna be very little visibility but i still want to reach uh, a level where i can you know go and uh look up close like this and not see the repetition of the scale Retopoing that will be fun. You'll be surprised how much normal map can actually handle. Depends how much silhouette we want. Yes, zero, but they uh, they could not reuse the old Black Flag uh, engine and game. Yes. They had to to excuse the costs. Yeah, and then no, Ubisoft is not making games for the sake of games anymore. We all know that. <laughs> it's just business. What exactly is this of making though? Money. A lot of money. That's what Ubisoft is making. Hey, it's exploding in popularity and the tools are available to everyone now. Yes, I think, especially with the whole advancement with Unreal, I think in the next five to ten years we're going to see way more small studios coming up top with really good games. Now they're having a good year. Bro, you, you really don't understand, William. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which was the complete garbage of a fucking game, was the best selling game in the history of Ubisoft. With the highest profits ever. Ubisoft is not crying for not having money and if they do it's only because they're fucking greed, greedy motherfuckers guys it's been a great pleasure oh, sorry it's been a great pleasure talking with you all I think I gotta go now but I'll catch you on the next one okay that's it. have a good night Bye. You too. Have a good one. Take care. Hey, then. Aren't those skills kind of seen, Ludwig's? Waha well, huh, made box, but it's a while ago. Yeah, and you think they didn't make money with Mirage, Prince of Persia bullshit, and Skull and Bone? more way more than they invested their names that are selling and then they had avatar right to the fucking game which also made box and then they will release the fucking star wars game which will also make box and there's still rainbow six siege do people still play that bro they're not <laughs> mirage is bad too because it's a fucking uh, uh dlc for valhalla Assassin's Creed Nexus for Meta Quest. Uh, bro, look, you're talking about VR games. Like, most of the people that I know that own a VR headset haven't fucking used it in ages. I know I haven't. 
right? My Oculus Rift be dying here in a fucking uh, drawer. No, no, it made bucks. Really. I was looking at some uh, numbers not long ago about Avatar game. VR headsets are great for games, yes. I agree. They're great for games. I work for a VR company and I haven't put on a headset in like two years. <laughs> Who's talking from the bathroom? Yada. Holy fucking shit. Microphone? Uh, one sec. Let me put you like no. First, try to bump up your volume, and then I'll check it. I'll move it to two hundred percent. I I barely heard anything. Hey, how about this? Hello. No, it's exactly the same. Are you talking with from the microphone from the camera or something? No, I don't think so. Give me a second. I'll, I'll Look in in me. options in Discord in your voice input. Okay, raise to 100. Check, check. Hello. It's better. I'll bump you up a little further. Say something. Uh, hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Howdy. Howdy. Oh. Yada. It's been like, what, 45 years? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, I don't know. It's always been uh, too busy, uh, demotivated, and then crunch. It was just repeat 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 and uh yeah so now you're motivated then you're gonna join our little challenge you're gonna make a scaly creature right? oh fuck you're gonna put me on the spot like that man i mean I like you, if you joined i presume that you're interested in the shit we're doing right so oh no i'm always interested in the shit <laughs> you're doing i just uh, you know what it is man like i just don't go on twitch ever Bro, I, I have a stream on Twitch on in like what Ever. nine, nine it's months. Crazy man, it's been what nine months I think since I've streamed on Twitch last time the the other day. Oh shit! I've been uh, a little bit upset with Twitch, but then I decided to stream on all platforms at once. Uh, so now, dude, we're that's the play. Honestly, <laughs> now we're now we're streaming everywhere. We'll see where we get banned first. <laughs> yeah, don't yeah. Honestly, um, Twitch is still, I, I think it's still about the audience, man. I don't know. It's, it's where the audience is. The, all the streaming Look, platforms really suck. <laughs> the, the numbers are not very different. Right? Like with an average of 100 people usually on Twitch, when I was streaming on, only on Twitch. And when I moved to Kick, you know, I had a, around 50 people with me. But there oh, were yeah. those people who usually were talking and interested in what I was doing. So I didn't lose too much in terms of community by by switching platforms. Exactly. No, it and honestly, um there are a lot of people who are just go where the stuff is, man. Like they don't care. They're they're not loyal to Twitch. They're not loyal to YouTube. There are there are a lot of man. people it's... who you know who are loyal to to a platform or another because they're just get used to it. Yeah, so the uh, familiarity is true, but, but yeah, honestly I, I in in a community as small as ours, right? Well three D community, I think it's very easy for them to switch to whatever place. If I wanted to stream on OnlyFans, I'm pretty sure most of them would have joined there. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, the uh, Nimlot on OnlyFans can't wait. So, <laughs> Twitch emotes, though, what do you mean? We have actually, it, I think Kick has better emotes than than Twitch, and even even if you're not, uh, you know, uh, affiliate on Kick, you still have the option to upload a shit ton of animated emotes and whatnot. So, 
I don't know what to say about it. I think out of all the streaming platforms, YouTube is shockingly like basic. Yeah, which you, is YouTube frustrating. It's, it's. I was looking, trying to figure out today, right? Because I added YouTube co- compared to uh, Saturday. I was trying to see exactly what I can set up on on YouTube, and you cannot set up anything. I honestly, yeah, it's like, yes, you stream, you have a chat, that's it. YouTube streaming is the best when you already have a channel and you're already pushing yeah, no, videos regularly. Uh, on, it's just it's so easy. On YouTube, you need yourself. you need probably two hundred k followers to start being visible for other people that are not following you. Yeah, facts. Otherwise, even, there's done. people don't search for your shit even when you go live, right? Because you're buried in the but again, sea like of videos. Even if you have followers, you. right? Uh, YouTube is sending like four to five notifications per day. Right? You watch one video, and it's gonna, they're gonna send you, "Have you liked this video?" Or you know, uh, we recommend this right? five times a day. So you might not even fucking see the goddamn uh, stream. Right? So. You know, I'm streaming for whoever wants to be there, right? There might be, you know, there are five people watching me on YouTube right now. Maybe next time there will be six. Maybe when we finish this, there will be 50. We don't know. But yeah. uh, given that I have the internet to, you know, send four, four stream uh, packages on four different platforms, I think it's good enough, right? Yeah, honestly, um, I I say multi-stream is the way to go. People ought to be able to find you if you do the if you get the big bucks for like an exclusivity partnership, whatever deal. Um, I don't even think Twitch's numbers make sense anymore. To do no that. one gives deals, bro, no. for for art for one hundred viewers. <laughs> Especially what the fuck are we art. talking about? <laughs> you're not. You're not gonna. Art, yeah, art is yeah. like niche in, in terms of streaming. Yeah, that's facts. I think I see more programmers get um, package deals, which is, I don't know. I find I find programming to be a mix of like some of the most boring shit imaginable and also semi interesting stuff. It's all about the personalities, though. They tend to bring in a lot. Well, you know how it is. My personality will not tell anything, so I'm not getting any deals, guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> nah, it's... I wouldn't say that. People, people want uh, what is it? People want uh, people who know their shit. Honestly, um, some people are better with personality than others, but. Yeah, the three D is niche in general. I, it it's hard to place it really. I'm just talking sweet nothings now. I don't know. Also, you know, probably I'll need to make more anime babes, shit like that. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's all about the thumbnails, man. You got to capture the 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 boob thumbnail. Uh, what what notification was that? Oh, Paul, I get notification from your two balls, Paul. Uh... Subscribed on YouTube. Hell yeah. Yeah, but YouTube was like for me the platform where I really didn't care about anything, right? Like I have uploaded some videos and I have the videos that I post on Patreon, right? That are unpublished. But you know, you know what it also is too, I find? Uh the delay on YouTube streams is abysmal. Like you could you could send a chat message and you might not even see it for like another 20, 30, even a minute sometimes after it's sent. And it is so infuriating sometimes. That that to me is one of the reasons why Twitch is still on top. It's because uh, AWS is it, just it does very matter good. in the end. Right. I'm everywhere. You you guys cannot say now that you didn't see me streaming. Exactly. Fuckers, there is no way you you're not following me anywhere.
Hell yeah. Did you get back to doing body? I wanted to try something. Did a great fucking job. What the fuck is this? <laughs> okay, let's try on a new layer. You might not have liked the fact that I had layer. I had other geometry. Uh, but yeah, further to the the scaly creature challenge. I am just trying desperately to go where the dopamine takes me. And right now it's environments. So I'm doing like a dead mall. What the hell is this? Why is it doing this? Christy! What the fuck? Why, why do I have like 45? This makes no sense now. I, I have to zero. I have to talk with Christy because this is this this used to work. I don't know if it's my beta build or the thing. What platform is more convenient for me regarding the revenue? That's kick, bro. If you're gonna subscribe, kick it. The shit. Kick at this point, while it's in beta, is giving 100% of of the revenue. And once they're out of beta, it's gonna be 95, right? So you cannot compete with that. If they will. Yeah, I don't even like kick, and I think it's too attractive in an, of an option anyway. Doesn't matter. Especially for small streamers, right? When we have like 50 subscribers, you know, it's a fucking big difference. Hey, Breaking Cosmic. So what you're working on, Yada? What's, what's your life going? Uh, well, I dodged some layoffs. I'm not exactly happy with work, but I'm, I'm definitely doing a lot better. And uh, uh, time's improving as well. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to focus on environments, man. It's my art station is fucking completely dead so i gotta i gotta breathe some life into it you should yeah for sure so focusing on a few things right now i'm just modeling some uh what is it um a dead mall like um in the north american midwest there's just a ton of shopping centers and they're all like falling apart and stuff like that and there's a few there's a few uh creators who uh post a lot of uh dead mall content and it's actually really nice so you're going for uh last of us uh not really that's a thing i i don't get me wrong i love uh last of us's design and and shit i like the abandoned aesthetic but I find even Last of Us is just 
stylized in a way that I don't like. Mm. It's just going to be, it's going to be my own take, I guess. Not overgrowth, not like golden hour sunsets constantly. I don't know what it is uh, about that. It's just, that's what I get from a lot of uh, Naughty Dog games is the lighting's just like too perfect all the time. I'd, I'd sacrifice that for maybe some like darker environments instead. Yeah, Urbexy stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'm the, I'm an environment guy. I'm not really, I'm not really a creature feature guy. You can do an environment piece. Yeah. With skills. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Like a, just a hero probe. An alien no, no, ship. Like a hero probe, you know, something with skills. A door with a dragon. Fucking uh, True, yeah. Griffon okay. statue. Maybe a gun with scales on it. Potentially. Potentially. Do you see any hope in this fucking future? Is alien? We've all lost our hope, bro. Anyone attempting the art station challenge? I don't know. I gave up on our station challenges a long time ago when I've seen the other. What do you call? The quality of the judges. Or some crazy good artworks that were like disrespected I cannot find other word Even like honorable mentions third places um, you guys recall that fucking uh, samurai So I kind of gave up on our station. I don't see the point and I'm not recommending anyone to join it. I guess in a way it might be good exposure, but I don't feel like our station challenges have now the, the hype that they used to have. Kind of oh yeah. Out. Yeah. That's 100% the case. Like I, I don't even fucking don't know. Like I, I've seen the winners for the last challenge for like a week ago or something. Which was, you know, the last challenge was like what, last year. That that much interest raised. Challenges are a lot of potentially unpaid work. Yeah, but your portfolio work it's always unpaid work. So doing something for your portfolio and developing you know, your work ethics, being there, making sure that you keep the work being done every fucking day, that's not a bad thing. So I, you know, from that point of view, I would definitely tell people to join challenges. Like it's a thing that it's worth uh, working on. Now, if you do not have the time and whatnot, then there is no fucking point, is it? But I think a lot of a lot of juniors need more experience in, you know, working with the. But even if it's a a, a deadline that it's you know, to three months, it's still beneficial for them to kind of like have that pressure because a lot of times they just do things whenever the fuck they want.
It's a similar case with programming, honestly. You should do you should do game jams if you want to get into programming. It's just part of it, part of the learning that goes into it. Uh, but challenges, I don't know. I think that you can set your own milestones and learn just as well. Uh, a lot of it's about exposure at the end of the day. This is a challenge also, Dina. So, am I wasting my time here? Depends on what you see as a waste. What if we just had like Ferrari spawn type or Formula One style like sponsors for challenges? We, we enter and then we get like paid by. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's that's fucked. I don't think that will ever happen. Well, a lot yeah, of but what what about the other? Fake. What yeah. about the other people in the challenge? What about Ken and Juni and Jay and Ludwig's? The other people who joined this challenge. Are they wasting their times getting just exposure? Not really like that, though. So. It's cool to work on, you know, something different and have a deadline or something to build up on. And it's always good to work on your portfolio. You guys who've been here for eight years should know by now this shit that I keep saying. You just watch the stream, yeah. Where's your stream, Ken? Or are you gonna tell me you're still in meetings since five hours ago? Soon TM. You're probably wasting your time, but this is still fun. I don't think working in any way it's a waste of time. Even if you're never gonna finish this project, let's say. I don't think it's a waste of time. I think you're learning stuff, you're getting faster, you get better at looking at references and approximate volumes or shapes. I think there's there's knowledge to gain from from everything that you do, if you do. Fuck! Take care, screaming.
Not really, no. I haven't tested it. Mm? We haven't tested in a while. There's a lot of shit still to be done. Export again. Are you done? Yeah. Yeah, tomorrow. Sure. See you. Bye bye. Take care. And he left. Man, eight and a half. No. Just like that, he left. Mm-hmm. Had enough of work for today. He's still working for Don't Not? No. the small scales we haven't touched them did we which one I didn't in the come back welcome back thank you Look. I know the big skills I don't fucking know. That's what I can just skip. Maybe I got the fucking error.
No, I think uh, because of the meshes, uh, I collapsed the the nano mesh, right? It went to okay. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that geometry. Not looking the same. Seems to go. Yeah, I tried to reimport with that same name. She it was like I don't understand what the fuck is that. Now I did a fucking different result. Nice. Very confusion. Let's see. Notes. I'm actually confused now. So does the triangulation determine the uh the the, the orientation yeah. yeah that's exactly what is happening It's a wrong. We'll see when we get there. See. I don't understand why this is changing the rotation of the inside. Also, why when you put one, it's not filling the fucking polygons.
Deus. This seems to be fine, right? Get to the toilet, it's okay with my nerves. Now you know. Hi. Chaos. Why is it chaos constantly? Hey, what the did you want? I don't know, I'll have to manually fucking fix it so I don't understand what's going on there. Um, it's everything in the same orientation, right? No, it's not everything with the same orientation. There's this shit here. I am not gone, but I need a sandwich, so be right back. Okay. Hide there, right?
I hate doing that to click on each of these shit. I'm back. Also, I haven't Welcome checked back. in in a while. Uh, is AI a banned topic? <laughs> Not really, no, but we even discussed today about it. Ah, okay. See, I think, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't hate it or hate it innately. But the amount of times it comes up in dumb work conversations or like things where we should be should be talking about other things drives me up the wall. So I wondered, you know, it if, is it the is it the other B word or it, whatever? It's not really, but I think like people are overreacting about it, just like about any other technology. Oh yeah, Full and stop. they kind of like go, you know, across the board. And I understand, like. And, you know, what people don't understand is that if there is a new technology appearing, right, there's always going to be some shitheads that they're going to try to profit from it, right? Which is basically what the fuckers with the 2D part of AI did, right? Well, they they that trained... Was just, yeah, that was just NFTs in a nutshell kind of thing, where it's like there's the opportunists and then the people who actually adopt, and then what they ended up seeing was just a lot of people who were just opportunists and like not really anybody adopting. Um, exactly. AI is different because we can actually adopt, but mm -hmm. the capabilities have very limited scaling, especially right now. We're gonna we're gonna use AI tools of. A lot of different kinds in production and doing stuff. Oh yeah, all, that's all the software is gonna adopt some sort of AI, or just to optimize your work, right? Yeah. So I think uh, you know, saying that uh, bad AI is bad is just dumb, right? But yeah, sure, there are, there needs to be some ways in, you know, to protect the people who created stuff from them training your their AI and then asking money uh, you know after it it been taught by you know people's work but otherwise man, we're we're going to see it no matter what uh, people say or how they complain we're going to see AI in everything but saying that AI is going to take our jobs for me that really drives me insane right cuz the only way you lose your job completely is by not doing your job. And your job is to adapt. Yep. No, full stop. Uh, I think, yeah, the, the, the only real moral gray area was the whole, like, we need to train using other people's art. And then we didn't necessarily like ask for consent and stuff like that. I, I'm, I'm what more for that. I think it's kind of like settled. Um, yeah, but, but again, there's always going to be actors because it's an open code, you know, there's always going to be right? someone to steal your work right? or to profit from your work. That's also the other part, right? It's not like there are not our station profiles right now with my work in them. Oh no, they're definitely that shit always happens, right? There's always gonna be someone to to profit. They're gonna do shit like that. Yes. Yeah, as far as I know, if someone was just like a prompter, a prompter, I don't know, just 
<laughs> and went and made their entire art station from prompts or something. And then they got like in the hot seat at an interview or like or a art position in a studio, uh, they would crumble completely. Yeah. There, there's no way around it. They they don't have that much uh, in terms of value because everyone can do that, right? It's just that that's just the basis now. We've accepted that. Some yeah, Gaussian splat is really, really cool. Uh, what I found really funny, uh, this is a really funny story. Um, there's like this um, outsourcing, not really outsourcing. Um, this is a bug bounty program called like Hacker One, And there's like an open source uh, code project. Um, and I think it's curl or whatever. And the guy there doesn't have a lot of free time. He's a pretty busy guy, but he is just inundated with a bunch of like bots and crawlers that are literally just chat GPT trying to farm uh, potential bugs for money because that's what bug bounties are. Like if you find a bug in our open source code, you can get make money from it. So there's like like at least three reports of person pasting code and saying, please find me a uh, bug. And then ChatGPT is just like, oh, yes, I will find you a code. This might actually be really bad for security. And then they like, like, go and post <laughs> on fucking bug bounty programs. Oh, and then the yeah. guy's like, you've hallucinated this problem. This thing does not exist in my code. What are you talking about? And it's, <laughs> it's just wasting so much time. <laughs> Well, not so much time. Obviously, he immediately bro. picked up on it. If you kind of if you see that garbage. those prompt bros, right? It, it, all they want to do yeah. is like you know make a quick buck with a technology that it's new. That's that's gonna change in time because you can already see that the results are so fucking the same shit. And yeah. You can you can spot the fucking you know AI stuff from a kilometer away. Oh yeah, they they always um, start off conversations like way too polite. Uh, they're way too properly typed uh, and grammatically perfect, and then they just I don't know. They they engage in a lot of like formalities before like talking about issues, and it's like just not real. You can tell them right away. But eventually they might get pretty creative with prompting that they, they might skirt that. And most of the time it's the people filling these bots and crawlers are people who have English as a second language or something along those lines. So it can be really easy to spot. But yeah, your your open source code project could be like bug free for like half a year. And like now all of a sudden you get like pinged 30 times over like security vulnerability. Uh, you know, I I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Like just nice. Good job. Awesome. How it is? They're all yeah. fucking uh, gross. Finding everything that's wrong in the world. But yeah, there is potential. Um, 
and that, yeah, I agree. You could, you could uh, put it into DevOps, and you could use it to like automate test some testing. That's for sure already being done. I can already say that. But when it comes to this like weird opportunistic shit, <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> This is this is just weird uh people trying to make a quick buck online. Um it does piss me off the amount of like bean counters up top who always try to like feed AI into like press kits and stuff like that because it's an infinite money glitch for investors. That that drives me nuts because it's complete completely baseless a lot of the times. They're just saying AI because it's the buzzword kind of thing. It's funny. But they've been doing that since time and memoriam, so it's not exactly new. What problem do you have, Ludwig? Your skill is too flat and straight. Or in the prom bros like complaining that other people are stealing their prompts already. <laughs> that that to me is just so funny. And reminder there there is currently no such thing as an AI. Yeah. Neural network trained algorithm. No. Artificial intelligence. No, it's I mean, just a really sophisticated um learning algo that's all it is yeah don't steal my prompts or just really really funny Mwah. chips kiss stuff for sure it's a uh... again it, it really is just the uh please don't right click on my nfts uh <laughs> shit again it really is time is a fucking flat circle man Yeah, now you have to mint your mint your prompt so you actually own it. Yeah, that's great. What a shitty future we've concocted. I just don't understand. You got what two hundred fifty years of jail? I think he got twenty five years for sure. That much I know, and he's probably going to get let out early on good behavior, similar to Bernie Madoff and other freaking scammers. I'm See, Altman actually that delivered something real, though. That's the thing. Like he put out a deliverable. And it was tangible. Bankman is just his entire persona was fake. He he made himself out to be this like billionaire philanthropist who's changing the the game. What was his business? Uh, centralizing a decentralized currency. A uh, fucking pirate software is like the perfect like catch all for that. It's like. You took this thing that's decentralized and then you put it in a central thing and you are like, no, I, my money, it's all gone. All my apes is gone. No, I'm so sad. It, it, you're, you're an idiot. They <sighs> also but... forget, you know, what's funny that Altman, none of those fucking politicians who were, uh, you know, backed by Altman said anything. They're all like, Perfectly silent, right? All those who profited from the money that he made because they let him make that money for a long time. Yeah, I don't... I <laughs> I think it's really funny, though, that, like, he, he basically deposed himself publicly on Twitter 
and he thought it was gonna make him look better. It's like, oh no, I all this stuff. It was, it, uh, it was my mistake. Oh, I, I can't believe this happened, and um, it was totally my fault, guys. I didn't see this coming. And then he just gets twenty five years anyway. Fucking idiot! <laughs> You're so stupid, bro. How could you be this again? Dumb? It's it's funny because uh, I think he's also kind of like a an escape goat. There are a lot of people who profit from this shit who get away without a problem i think it was also pushed a lot for for him to get wrecked yeah I th he obviously had to be made an example there's no way Uh, and then, like, the Binance guy is getting heat now. Uh, crypto is just fucking weird, man. I don't... I don't even know if the people investing in it understand the product, but they're so willing to do it because it's that uh, rags-to-riches darling story that's been told over and over again or something. It's really frustrating. But yeah, I don't I don't even follow crypto that much. It was just really fucking funny seeing him effectively incriminate himself um publicly on Twitter constantly. And he's like, oh no, this won't back backfire. Uh okay, well here we've deposed your logs and entered it as evidence. It's like Yeah, what did you think would it happen? Are you are you stupid? My god. Well, some people got very rich because of that. For sure. And we're still doing art for pennies. Pennies. What's up, Luna? Wanna say hi to the people? Come here, till this is full. Hi. Say hi. Oh, hello. What's up, Luna? What's up, Luna? What do you want? She's two, two years old. Plan a bit. That is a baby right there. Go away. Go away and destroy the house. The, the, the biggest red flag with NFT games is almost always the fact that NFTs take front center and then what? all of it is just store-bought assets. Why do you and guys you think tell. that the NFTs died? They're they're completely toast. The entire market is Mate. just gone. We've it's been in bear market. All over again. Right? Everything was down. Now it's going up again. Be patient. Six months. In six months, everything is going to be, again, NFTs and Web3 games. I don't, I don't have a dog emote on kick. I'll upload one, I guess. There'll be something new this time. Nah.
I should not import 100 million triangles in Marvel set. I think crypto is going up. Do I look like a person who has six figures to put into any kind of investment? Um, simple. If you like, <laughs> if you think that uh, crypto is going up, man, just fucking do it. Just YOLO it. Just go all in, man. Um, and then you'll end up on financial audit and uh, be made fun of. It's kind of just no investment advice online is good advice. The, exactly. the good like, advice you have to fucking pay for, bro. Like <laughs> any anything you do, it's up, you know, it's up to you. Even if you go and put the money in it in the bank, it's still up to you, right? We've seen yeah, even that motherfucking there bank, are bank in America investments that are riskier that... than crypto, man. Yeah, exactly. Shit happens on all aspects, but the market is driven by people with money, and crypto market is not a market that doesn't have the money. Now, some of the crypto will die. It's absolutely fucking true, and. Definitely do not trust anyone who's telling you to do X or Z because the, usually yeah, the market is going to God. Most likely the market is going to do the opposite. No, era. no, you don't understand. Elon Musk went, appeared in a YouTube ad and he told me to jump on uh, uh, Poopy Coin and uh, invest all of my money into it. Oh my God. And uh, again, now like, I, any I kind of food. And this is help. something that I, you guys need to understand. Anything that you invest needs to be money that you can afford to lose any type of investment you buy an apartment or you buy a fucking car to resell it or you invest in crypto needs to be money that you can afford to lose if you don't you're fucked i have to make a distinction between bitcoin and crypto i think the real uh advice is if your entire portfolio is just crypto you're crazy you're insane you are playing with way too much risk to be a normal human being investing means you know putting eggs in all the baskets not in one basket in in smart baskets that's the idea you have to at least have some faith that it's going to go up in a positive way in a tangible way that's the only real investment advice I will ever give. But again, coming back, Panju, to me putting six figures in it, I don't have that kind of money. I actually don't have any kind of money. You know, I have a handful of students. That's all that pays for the army of animals that I'm supporting. I would be in production, yeah, probably I would make some money to invest in whatever. Otherwise, making a day's end, you know, salary from salary. And also for people to make money from crypto, other people need to lose. You guys need to understand that. There is no 
no investment where everybody wins ever someone has to lose and in general you know are the people who are like in crypto who bought fucking uh, bitcoin at 65k two three years ago two years and a half and sold when it dropped to 30. you know what i mean And don't tell me there's none of you who bought up there. You know, and also about investing in crypto, in crypto, very important to exit, right? You're just gonna keep stuff there, and you'll be like, hey, you know, I'm in profit now, but maybe next week is you're gonna be in loss. Right? At some point, you need to have an exit strategy where you convert the goddamn crypto into fiat till you even out the money that you invested. wish you had money to lose i think a lot of us are in that position now zalian here is very rich Live in Norway, which is a relative term. I wouldn't say that. Norway is fucking great. I wish I could live there. You can always move. But honestly, I'll have one more cigarette with you guys. It's been eight hours. It's enough for one day, don't you think? Go and have fun with Santa Claus, right, Ludwigs? If there's one thing I don't mind or would hope gets automated out of existence, it could be UVs and retopo. Don't get me wrong, I still enjoy it, but here, here's the future, man. In case you don't see, nanite on skeletal mesh. Yeah, that's freaky. Not okay. scalable to every platform, obviously, but super, super nice. Other fucking. Uh, engines will pick it up also, the whole tech of Nanite. But I told you, it's gonna happen eventually. There's no fucking way that it's, they're not gonna make it happen. One step at a time. Nanite, all the things, exactly. Then we are 
We'll have to find those good artists to actually make good looking games. Are you gonna be one of them? No. Who needs good looking games? Yes. For a story, right? In the chat permission, I, I need to set it up when I'm starting the stream. Otherwise, I cannot change it during while streaming. It works now, everybody can comment. Hey, Shibi. We're doing uh, some scaly creatures. A small uh, challenge in my Discord. So, I have a feeling that you would use the uh, rigging options in Unreal, the uh, DN engine uh, rigging. I don't know how it will work, but eventually it will. There is, I doubt there, that's not going to happen. That preview was from the new version of github some hidden feature just like you know in 5.2 people were looking at displacement for nanite meshes which in 5.4 became official and they're gonna start charging money from 5.4 what they're gonna start charging more money from Unreal 5.4. No, they're not. What are you talking about? They're still 5% after 1 million. But that being said, let's call it a day. Thanks for hanging out, guys. No, thank, thank you. And uh, yeah, have have yourself a good one. Uh, I'll catch you next time when we're gonna do more scales, because you guys like me doing scales for for a week or a month. So have a have a good uh, end of Easter vacation. For those of you who celebrate Easter, for the others, have a good rest of the day.